morning, everybody. How's it going? Happy Sunday to all of you. I woke up today and it's all, uh, it's all chilly and frosty outside. Definitely starting to feel very December. Anyways, we're back with potentially a finale for our current Surviving the Aftermath playthrough. I can say confidently, that wasn't very confident. I can say confidently, there we go, that we're approaching the end game right now. Or this, the aftermath? I don't know. This game has been sweet. And I look forward to, I mean, it's a paradox game. I look forward to the obvious, like, 13 DLC that are coming out. This is going to add more and more stuff to this game. But it should be super fun. But good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Let's, uh, let's get right to it, shall we? Oh, three cats in a trench coat. I'm very much enjoying the Kate seasonal cat emote. Phenomenal. It's a good seasonal loaf. Hey, good morning, kids. Everything we once knew is gone. A badly damaged building catches fire and stops working. Which also happens if you let your, uh, your colonists have a party, apparently. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So at the end of yesterday's playthrough, we had an unfortunately high amount of our colonists die of radiation. Uh, and as you might see, we have a few bodies sort of scattered about, and that's because we had so many people die, <laughs> our cemetery keepers stopped working as well. So a little bit of a mess, which, you know, so it goes, so it goes. Hey, good morning, Artemis Huntress. Good to see you. You might also notice there, there's a new UI thing that's happened here. So you'll see we have four new progress bars. And what we have to do is if we head out to here, or maybe I can't see that particular UI right now, all these provinces have another designation that's on them. And what we need to do is we need to go about and we need to build these research posts. So this is a 96% efficiency medicine outpost, <laughs> which gives us less than 1% every 24 hour. So what we're going to do is, as we've discovered most of the provinces at this point, oh, that's not true. There's a little bit of room up here. Uh, we eventually want to start transitioning a good chunk of our team into these new roles. Your scout, you're heading home? Yeah, where they research for us, and then we probably want to keep a, a pretty lean force. So I'm thinking we'll keep our three best fighters, we'll probably keep Joe Kim the scientist, and maybe one scavenger. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do five rotating other people who are just going to start uh, bringing home bringing home the research bacon. When you say stop working, is that because they also died? Maybe. Maybe. So, yeah. 400 people are threatening to leave. Yeah, I don't care. Raphael died of old age. Yikes. 13 people currently irradiated. That, you know, that, that happens. That happens. Let's see if I can buy some rad pills. There's some rad pills right there. Ooh, and there. How exciting. How are we doing for all of our other resources? We're getting pretty close to like a post-scarcity world, which is great, with the exception of rad pills, apparently. You know, we're making good money. And, uh, yeah. We're making a pretty cool base. We're gonna upgrade our houses. We're just gonna chill, and we're gonna see, uh... We can't finally turn some of our frowns upside down in our colony here. As we push towards the end game, which is making the superstructure. Ah, sell some pollution. Never not funny. Sell some guns. There you have it. So somebody else has rad pills to sell. So let's uh, let's take all of those as well. Fine. I'm just going to give you all these guns. There you go. There you go. That's what I like to see. 
You know what? My people deserve better than mealworms. You can have those too. Wow, those were high in, uh, high in something, weren't they? Hey, what's up, Zergen? No, you, you, thank you for 18 months, but you can't chant math, math, math. This is the aftermath. So, you know. One thing I learned from a math report today, Hydra, Nix, and Styx have radio of orbits of 6, 9, 11. Bernice, the frequencies are the same ratio, 440, 660. Huh. Wait, it, it's actually like a musical chord? You can represent the orbits of Pluto's moons by playing an A major 7th suspended chord on guitar. That's sick, actually. I like that. Arms dealer surge. I sell arms and I sell garbage. More of a garbage dealer than anything. I don't laugh when I sell guns. But I do get a chuckle. Every time. Every time. I sell something else. Alright, hold on. What happens here? What if I slaughter two of these? What do I get? Just get like a bunch of meat when that happens? I don't know. No idea. Hey, dynamic type. Thank you for three months. That gets you a toasty new bean. Appreciate it. Maybe I say no fuel in here. We can store food and medicine here and that's it. Specialist in danger? Who? I think everyone's already heading home. Yes. Right? Oh wait, no, you're currently doing science. Ah, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> ah, good times. Good times. Alright. Here we are. Oh right, we could be upgrading houses, can't we? Especially now that we have so many vacancies. Yikes. So this should hit most of our goals that we had from the previous day. Wrong game. Concrete mines, upgrade houses, done, focus bunker, profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I have those two concrete mines? I have concrete mine the first. I do. Awesome. Good stuff. Oh, you're at home? Cool. All right. Dro is home, which means Dro is, becomes our second person here to become a... Wait, why can't I make this? Only one allowed? Hold on. Time out. Outpost can be used to excavate... Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean only one allowed? Oh, no, no. I don't want outpost. I want engineer one. There we go. Rats are eating our food. Rude. Very rude. Aubrey starved to death. God. Oh, jeez. Please don't die. Okay, good. All right. Perfectly calculated. You can head home with your five hit points, Joe Kim. All right, you bring your stuff home, too. Good morning, T and Troll OG. Good to see you. Uh, number go down. We are at 200 people. We lost 28 people, which is not good. And you can see there's quite a few radiated bodies everywhere here. Irradiated? Irradiated? Do I have a spare worker who could maybe help clear those bodies? I think I do if I cut a worker. have a third person here yet still no come on all right i don't need this water anymore i have a hundred water will you work here yet 
Jo. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. How about now? What? What is the problem? How is this even possible? All right, give me a second here. I have to solve this. All right, there's two more people. This just doesn't make sense. It's not possible. Hello, my love. There we go, finally. Have we created more pollution? We don't get to get rid of that pollution, unfortunately. So there is only the pollution that we find as like the red spots on the map that we can harvest and outsource. I say like it's a bad thing. There's a finite amount of pollution. Womp womp. All right, um, so let's turn Dro, and Dro is that one, into another engineer. All right, so I believe I can only make one type of building. Actually, I'm just like, I don't even know if that's true or not. So we have a heart one right now. Let's start collecting leaf. Or a fighter? Okay. So that means I should start constructing another one of these. And I want to get basically one of each one down as soon as possible. There are survivors at the gate. Oh yeah, good. We needed more people. Welcome, welcome. A ragged bunch hey, wow, what a group. Two adults? Yes, please. None of them are sick. Oh, and we get a fighter. AKA, we get another person. Wow, that's really good health recovery. Terrible at everything except for healing and punching. I think I like Joni here. I don't know. We'll see. Wait. Wait a second. One of them is actually angry. Boo. I hope it's not one of the adults. It's probably one of the adults. All right. Hold on. What are the stats here? You know what? I'm going to take Dajo. Where Joni's going to stay, because check it out. Joni does 25 damage, heals 40. But it's like, I'm never going to scavenge with, um, sorry. Scavenge is 25, research. All right. Wait, oh yeah, I'm never going to research with them. So you can see we get more healing for the cost of science. Uh -huh. So yeah, Dajo, congratulations. You've got a new job lined up here. Joni just kind of sounds like Johnny. Okay, our trade caravan is back. Good. Nice. So we can buy more of these. Love to see it. I don't need antibiotics. Sell them my garbage. You can have all these mealworms. What else can we sell here? More guns. Yeah, welcome to, I guess, selling simulator, because... Apparently, this is all we do now. I can sell like 200 carrots. Ooh, that's all their money. All right, perfect. All right, so now what I can do is I can slowly start returning more people to work here, right? We've made a new discovery. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. So something I want to look into here. Searching cabinets. As soon as we finish... Yeah, as soon as we finish that science, I think I want to max out the lightning tree here. Good. 
And then I'm going to try making another power grid. I'm going to try separating them. With the goal being, um, sometimes a disaster goes and hits one area. So if I separate them, it sounds better. Sorry, what's going on here? Are you still searching? Are you on your way home? Keep searching. Okay, I've got a bunch of people who are just idle at home. Right, that's because I'm waiting for these buildings to finish. Colonists died. Died of old age. Starve to death. Stop starving. Ah, uh, these people. All right, uh, Dajo. Dajo, I need you, yes, to go do your new job. Thank you for your service in the colony. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, these two, I think our, our current fighters are one, two, three. And I like these two because they have seven movement, so they'll be able to respond faster. And probably we end up cycling out Joni until we get another fighter who has seven speed so they can all move in tandem together. All right, we have a... We have a leaf. We have a medical one. So let's find one of the other ones that we don't have yet. That's leaf again. God, suddenly we're Naro top in here, right? <laughs> All right, there's a shield. Let's see if there's a closer shield. It's a wind over there. Okay, let's go to that far off shield. I'm a little bit worried about these like 50-50 split ones. And what kind of stats we're actually going to get out of those. God, everything's so far. Whatever, let's go to one of the closer 50-50s and just see what happens. Because we're probably going to want to put things in all of them anyways, right? So where is the closest one? God, nothing. Nothing is close. Hmm. Am I just going in circles here? It might be. There was one shield I saw somewhere. Alright, I guess I'm going here. is now complete. Let's build a couple of these. No point making them one at a time, right? Wait, we can hire a new person. Excellent. Who are you? You're a scientist. Good. Sorry, I mean, we found a new engineer. <laughs> oh, the trade on boys are back. Okay. I mean... Just gonna keep buying stuff. My monitor is still super bright. That's right. You want me to turn it down, sweetie? There we go. Please, I need all of your components. My people. They need to tinker. All right, there's no need to maximize the profit for every single one of these that I click on. Because apparently I'm just going to constantly keep buying stuff. All right, if we could just chill for like 10 minutes and have nobody die, that would be great. That would be just super keen, okay? So how about just everybody pumps the brakes... And everybody stops dying. Oh, I have a bunch of people who are radiated. All right, maybe I should get more doctors. How are we doing there? That may have been where the deaths were coming from. I didn't realize. Uh, awkward. I didn't realize how much uh, 
how much trouble we were in there. All right, let's create another engineer. It's going to be this dude. And I have a shield, which means I need to look for the, the Valley of the Wind here. All right, head that way. Now, I also have three fighters who are all on standby here. So let's get them out and ready. Your orders. With the goal of maybe clearing some more bandits here, right? So where are we? We're here. Yeah, let's go over this way. Huh? Going. Uh -huh. Hey, good morning, Ink Slayer. Oh my god. All right. That is a tier 2 diamond bean. Thank okay. you so much, friend. I have finally achieved diamond. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a fantastic day, my friend. That is a very long time to support me. All right, specialist is ready. What what do you need? Ooh. All right, let's uh, let's go research all this stuff. We don't necessarily need to scavenge it. I just want to see where it all is, and we'll take this abandoned van on the way home. Your day is fantastic. Nice. Yeah, I hope you're having a super cozy Sunday. Kyle died of old age. Stop dying. I beg of you. Is it so much to ask that people just stop dying? No? Is that off by one? Crap. Alright, everyone ignore that. Everyone ignore that. Didn't happen. You didn't see a thing. There we go. We are slowly upgrading all these houses, though, and that's exciting. Uh, maybe I can actually downsize quite a bit here, right? We have 30 extra spaces. So... I mean, if I wanted to just make this look a little bit vis more visually interesting, I could intersperse some, like, one-story houses with it. But I don't know if I'm worried too much about the aesthetics, right? So, screenshot it? No, Chris! Please! How are we doing here? Are we storing any food? Yeah, good. All right, so people can eat up here. I'm just so curious why they'd walk all the way down there for food. We have food storage here and here. I don't know. Sorry, I have 14 irradiated colonists and none of them are actually getting treatment right now. Look at this. I have 13 people who are sick and zero people at my doctor's. Are they broken? Hello? What's wrong with you? Roger. All right, well, there's no point in having all these doctors working if no one is seeking medical treatment. Maybe it's the sort of thing where I'm like, all right, here's some pills, go home, you'll be fine, and like, walk it off. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't like it. Hold on, where's home? Home is here. Do I have any... No. Wait, there's some more survivors later. Do we have more happiness yet? Hey, our happiness is only minus one, 153. Like, that's good news, right? I like that we had three identical brothers who were working as cooks in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. William is now an adult. Nice. Okay, the concrete rune is depleted, which means I can do this now. Demolish. 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 
All right, all those concrete scavengers are now gone. That makes me really happy. Um, that also means now I can put in another happiness building. Actually, realistically, I should probably take these two lumber buildings and get them out of there because they don't require water or power. So it's pretty easy for me to just move that up here. That's the lumber burners, right? Yeah, let's do a little, just a little reorganizing of stuff. The lumber yard turns log into stick. Great. Wait, nope, that's the wrong one. That's the tree one. I want the logging camp turns wood into firewood. Perfect. Wood into firewood. It's going to go there. And then we're going to delete these. And we're going to replace them with, like, cozy buildings. Mission complete. All right, found another hostile province. Gotcha. Wait. There's one here as well. I'm just going for the Valley of the Leaf. I don't have to go as far. Sounds good. Outpost. They're all stopping at the pub instead of going to the hospital? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. What's this? This is food storage. Right, that's food storage in a really awkward spot. So let's put food storage over here instead. Because maybe, maybe my people will stop starving to death if they have food right in the restaurant district, right? Actually, hold on. Do I even need to access that water? I have large, clean water there. What if I put food storage right there instead? Because then I have food storage... Yeah, you know what? Get out of here, large water tank. I don't need you. Become food storage instead. And then we're also going to delete that. And we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make, like, cooler buildings here, right? Have another warehouse here too? Come on, Serge, what you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Burial pit is full. That's okay, I have a cemetery instead. Wait, uh, get back here. A colonist smudged with motor oil has an idea. A messy looking woman informs the rest she has found a very old and partially decayed old world car in the I'm gonna fix it up she says you know what I got plenty of screws have at her hey we got 350 science cool she's given the parts she requests and she immediately runs to the woods a few hours go by before a loud bang sounds from the forest the woman is unharmed and admits the experiment didn't go as expected the battery exploded all right the parts are lost and the car is beyond saving, but her experiment yielded some interesting knowledge about mechanical engineering. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So what we want to do now is I don't think I have a botanical garden yet, do I? Oh, pardon me. That was a weird noise my body just made. Botanical garden requires water. Good thing we have water right here, eh? So let's slap that down there. Did I leave myself room beside that? I did not. I want it to be here. I think, unfortunately, I delete all these. Do I, can I just delete as a shortcut? No, I sure can't. Oh, good. All right, this is going to take a while here. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I double plant there? I'm not sure. A specialist is ready. Who is ready for what? Um, hold on. What? I literally don't understand why it says a specialist is ready. Nobody is ready. Wait, are all you ready? Oh, you're all ready. All right, my fighters are ready. So let's go take on this bandit camp. One. Two. Three. New knowledge unlocked. No. 
That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so we're making a botanical garden now, which I'm excited about. And then I have another happiness building I can make here, which is the... Ooh, liner... Winter storm. Crap. All right. Well, uh, new plant. I'm actually going to pull this out. And I'm going to replace it with an electric radiator. I'm trying to reduce my dependence on firewood here. Let's see if I can make two. How expensive are those electrical radiators? No, it's under health. Radiator. Oh, yeah. These are, these are affordable. I can make three. So let's go to that one first. One, this one next, two, that one, three. There we go. All right, happiness and heat. Do another little trade here. We always want to be buying more of these electric components. There we go. Perfect. Please give me all of your components and all of your fun boxes. You know, let's grab these antibiotics. I think I'm actually full on antibiotics. Throw that down. That down. Got any garbage? Yes, we do. Still funny. Throw that down. Yeah, I have 200 antibiotics. I don't need more. I will keep the clothing because it's about to get cold. I will sell you 10 guns. Suddenly profitable. Durable tools. Amazing. Anybody else have batteries for sale? Nope. Alright, we good. Check back occasionally. Hey! And everybody clapped. Alright, let's... I think we can make our botanical garden a little bit prettier there, too. Do... There we go. Uh, we researched the submerged pump. Wait, what did we get? Oh, the gaming arcade. Right. You bought the game last night? And you're having a really good time so far? That's awesome. Glad to hear it. I don't think these people are radiated anymore. I don't see glowy people walking around. I think that's a UI bug. So, let's turn this back on. Let's upgrade it. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Hostiles defeated. Yeah, good stuff. We won the battle. All right, now now come. That was just the warm up. Now comes the real fight. What's up? And loaded, huh? Going in. All right, good stuff. So we have a scout idling on the world map. What are you doing there? I thought you had a job. You got it. You laugh at the ability to sell trash, but in Sweden... Oh, crap. I need to be harvesting all my crops here. Let me read that in just a second here. You laugh at the ability to sell trash, but in Sweden we recycle to the degree that we don't have enough trash to burn for heating, so we actually buy trash from other countries to burn. Wow. This is garbage that would end up in landfills instead. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Wait, this one is full? Full of what? This one is mega full of food. I thought I said no wood in these because we have wood storage up here, right? No wood or wood products, please. All right. Winter's here. Oh, did I get those heaters done in time? Yeah, it looks like I did. Awesome. So at night, I have minus 36 power. Good, good, good. Working as intended. All right. You love to see it. So I should be able to do a large battery rack now. Yeah. Store 6,000. Heck yeah. Let's make 
two of these. As I mentioned, we're making a new area out here. It's going to have its own maintenance as well. I mean, actually, it's kind of close enough that if I, if I wiggle these ever so slightly, I'll probably cover it. Yeah. There we go. A little bit wasteful in its overlap. I built the Texas energy grid. No, I, I did not. I was going to say that my energy grid is actually very, very robust. Thank you very much. All right, what have we got here? Oh, man, more tools. Uh, do I even care about tools at this point? It's the superior ones, so maybe, or actually probably not. Man, everybody's still just kicking it. This is awesome. All right, let's head this way. Yes. Sounds good. Maybe I still care about those tools? I don't know, chat. What do you think? Like, it's kind of good to have, but I kind of want to feel... I feel like I kind of want at least... Wait. You should be in position now, shouldn't you? Alright, we're now getting one of each. Sounds good. It's awesome. Yeah, I feel like I want at least two of each before we start doing that again. Uh, Jogan is idling in the colony. So yeah, let's uh, let's get another shield one going. Alright, where's another shield? Another single shield. No dice? Nowhere in the world is there another single shield? Alright. Uh, we'll get a lower efficiency one, I guess. It might be in one of these ones that's already... Well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think... Oh, crap. I don't think that I'm going to need... Uh, this anymore, right? So what if I what if I just demolish this medical outpost? What if there's a chance that under the metal, medical outpost there's a single shield? You know what I'm saying? So like, I think I'm happy to... Ah, is that a giant waste? I don't know. I think that's too wasteful. I'll learn eventually. A mean looking group were at the gate. How dare you? A heavily armored truck screeches to a halt by the gate. <laughs> Leader kicks the gate. We're on a hunt for supplies. Hand them over so no one gets hurt. We will not be threatened. Excuse me? They just drive by? I lose 30 happiness and two of my people get injured? This event sucks. Get out of here. No. Oh, my happiness, chat. I've been working so hard on that. We got bullied. Very rude. For unhappy people are threatening to leave. How dare you? After all I've done. It hurt the bullies more than it hurt me. I hope so. Oh, this is a problem. Why am I short workers? Why am I always short workers? 
we go. A specialist is ready. We have met another society. We hey! One more friend. We met Kemville. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Oh my god, we finally found a steady source of candy bars, chat. Oh no. That kind of cracks me up. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. You wouldn't buy candy bars from Chemville? Dang, chat, that's cold. The colonists are infected. All right, let's uh, let's get some more doctors going here. Are you gonna see the doctors? All right, okay. People are actually seeing the doctors now, which is great. Worried. Yeah, minus 36 power at night is bad. Not enough construction materials. What am I out of? I'm out of sheet metal? That's a problem. Maybe I can just buy more. Someone is at the ranch. What could they be after? Some strange Cattle thief. Sneaked into the, ranch. the amazing thing is we don't have cows. <laughs> They're the wrong place. Hey, you. We don't even have cows. What are you stealing? The colonists march to the ranch and walk right inside where the bandits are rounding up the livestock. They immediately stop and raise their hands, being caught in the act. Look, we just want some meat, and these animals are so plump and nice. Get out of here, you dang kids. Hey, we got our happiness back. Is Kemville really all that different from Hershey's? Oh, dang. Wait, maybe Kemville is just Willy Wonka. You think about that, chat? Maybe that's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I even want to buy candy bars from Willy Wonka. Oh man. All right, hold on. What's happening here now? All right, we got a scout. Scout is continuing to scout, you know, as is their right. My pleasure. Ah, uh, what else is happening here? It looks like all of my warriors are in position to play. Attacking target. Yes. Attacking target. Reporting in. Engaging hostile. All right, let's get a new friend here. Who are you and what do you do? A scout! Excellent. What that means is we actually have another engineer. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to create them right away. And then we have a second person on their way to shields. So we want a second person on their way to wind. And that's going to be here. And the goal is I'm actually making the second settlement in reverse order of the first one to try and catch up on those numbers. They don't have to hit there at parity, but I don't know. Makes sense to me. I think that's clever. One large battery rack is complete. Amazing. All right. We have so much energy storage now, which I'm pretty excited about. It did cost me all of my components, but the goal is as soon as that's done. Wait, are these frozen? These need to be heated? I don't even know. The goal is... I'm going to, um, once the super good power is done, I'm going to make a brand new energy system over here too, using the high tier ones. I'm very excited. Babies. All right, good. Jack died of old age. That happens. God, our population is dropping. All right, hold on, hold on. There is a couple more people we can invite to join us here. And they are in... Here. What do we got? Two adults, one old person, and one kid. Good enough. Please. We need people, I beg of you. <laughs> oh, 
our trader combo is here. Amazing. All right. Uh, let's get more batteries and sheet metal. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Got any garbage we can sell? Never not funny. And let's go ahead and sell some clothing here. God, we have so much plastic. I've been told to stop selling food. Wait, I'm losing money? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm selling some fish. Everything I just said was a lie. I'll never take a loss. And now you want kids. The table have turned. Uh, yeah, it's almost like we had a really bad radiation outbreak and everybody died. <laughs> almost, hypothetically. I wonder if I should make a second hospital? No, that's not the problem. Okay, so now we have food being stored over here. We have food being stored up here. And... Um, Maybe I'm supposed to make another food camp for, like, the three people who work in this corner. Oh, wait. More radiation. Nice. We've made a new discovery. Have we? Such merged pipes are done. Okay. Hostiles defeated. Amazing. Good job. We won the battle. How healthy is everybody? I think everybody is healthy enough sure. that we can take this fight as well. <clears throat> does this game have an end state yes it does um we're trying to make all these numbers go up that's our end state number go up all right all right joe kim is home we like joe kim is jonak gonna be our scavenger do we have a better scavenger all right jofina what are jofina's stats jofina has a stat of 200 scavenge seven move And then Jonuk yes. has stats of 200 scavenge, 7 move. Interesting. 30 recovery. Did you replace all of the housings that have increased birth rate? Uh, not all of them. Because that's really expensive. But a good chunk of them. Yeah, we have, oh my god, 70 excess. That's, that's just not good. <laughs> that's... That's just actively bad. I mean, maybe I don't destroy the houses because eventually we'll get full again. I don't know. We have bandits at the gate. Again? All right, four new survivors have arrived, which is great. Ah. Doomsday cults are not unheard of in a world like this. All of these suck. Let's fight. We win! We wanted more children. We could put in some upgraded tenements, I guess. Yeah, just as a place to deliberately get there. I think we're still fine. Because we will get adults randomly, right? We have 15 children. We had like 40 at our peak. So yeah, I guess our birth rate is... There's that... There's a score that you can give... Um, there's a score that you can give... Like a population of, is your birth rate enough to replace everybody? You know what I mean? I think you need something like 1.1 or something like that to just net positive. All right. Locked and loaded. Ready. I cannot click. There we go. Yes. And I don't think we have that currently. I don't think that's what we were at is perhaps a little spooky. Moving. Replacement rate is 2.1? Oh, geez. So, seeing as how children are trending down, I don't know. I, could, I guess I could throw in a couple of upgraded tenements if we wanted to. 
All right, well, since these two scavengers are functionally identical, I'm actually going to replace this one uh, because they're here. And then we'll keep we'll keep Jofina. That's just a really good name. All right, Jonak is going to become a, another engineer just so that we can get this moving faster. And in reverse order, we have another shield. We need another leaf. We need another Valley of the Leaf. Get out of here. Wayne is an adult. All right, we got like 20 carriers now. That's good. Nobody is sick. That's actually remarkable. Uh, since so few people are dying, I could probably scale down work at the cemetery. Right? We'll get two people working in the cemetery. So, how are we doing for firewood? Firewood is good. Our food stores are ridiculous. Um, that means I could probably try and rush and finish these last couple of resources that are on the surface. Does that look frozen and broken, anyone else? Looks like it's totally fine, actually. Are these buildings cold? Do I not have a radiator here? Oh, oh, uh, that's awkward. Uh. <laughs> I think my people generally prefer to not be freezing. So let's slap down two of those. Wait, that's more power. Crap. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, we'll probably be fine. How much power could those possibly use? Six each. Haha. -ha. All right, that just means we'll drain at night. Oh, that's bad. All right, give me a second here. Okay, we found more bandits. Let's keep searching. It says that we were victorious. Are we healthy enough for one more? I, You know what? I think we are. I think we are. We can do a little victory lap here. All right. Huh? Moving. Yep. Age of Fina's home. What are you bringing? You're bringing fun. You're bringing warm clothing and you're bringing antibiotics. That's good okay. stuff. That's good to hear. Uh, you're here to make us another shield. So hold on a second here. That's 97%. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was really worried that the numbers would still suck. So I can act, I, even though there's shared, I can still get uh, a pretty high efficiency one. Good. Sure thing. Outpost is now complete. Good, good, good. Oh, crap. Uh, this is probably fine. Trade convoys here. Okay. All right. Uh, we're playing, we're playing dangerously here. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Hack. So I don't need, I don't need much. I just need a couple more of the OG wind turbines here. And then we'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Build that, please. Oh god, I'm out of metal. Ah, buckets. Alright, who's our closest neighbor who sells metal? Two days? No. 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 Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? I'm not scared. Hey, more people. Ragged bunch shuffles. See, this is how you get kids, chat. Oh, cool. We have another engineer.
uh, we need another heart, which is great because we went straight to there. So let's go ahead and click on that. Is one of your characters named the Jowler? Yes, you uh, would be correct. Several construction zones are lacking resources. You don't say. Specialist is ready on the world map. Man, this scout is just crushing it right now. Can do. Fina's idle in the colony. That's fine. Joe Kim is idle in the colony. They're not healed yet. We can send them out after. Oh, here we go. All right, the Valley of the Wind. 92? Really? Whatever, good enough. I don't know if I'm going to notice a difference of point zero two. If I'm honest. Wait, what did I get? I got another Chivo. I met uh, all of the societies. Cool. Speaking of societies, can anybody sell me metal? I mean, sure. It'll take two days to get here. Two days is better than zero days, right? I'll buy all your fun boxes, too. I have all these shotguns. I don't need them. Got any garbage to sell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, joy. Wait, I'm still at a loss here. That's bad. You know what? I don't think I need basic tools anymore. Let's let those go. Really? Still at a deficit, huh? More guns? There. So yeah, now we're going to play a game of number go up. So what are we looking at here? 1% for 24 hours. So that means for this one, this one, this one. A hundred days. Oh, God. All right, the radiator's done. That's spooky. I wish I hadn't finished the radiator. I had a different build order. I'm pretty sure I said the most important thing to build is these. And I'm also out of wood. I think we're going to make it, chat. I think we're going to make it. We've got over half of our battery life still, and I bet you we're, we're at least more than halfway through the winter storm. At least. It's highly unlikely that we're not. At least most of the way through. Water pump. Wow, produces 40 water? That's huge. Also, I'm realizing I probably need another metal pump. Or pump. It's a weird word to use. Another metal factory. Metal extractor doesn't cost us any metal. Let's go ahead and throw that down. We already have the infrastructure for it, right? Sorry, what's happening here? My fighters ready to rumble? Yes, they are. Uh-huh. Please. Locked and loaded. There we go. Uh-huh. Showtime. All right. Engaging hostile. So I said I could trade again? Is that what just happened? And buy more sheet metal? And buy more batteries from anybody? No. God, I feel like this is all the game has become, is just clicking on this trade screen over and over. You know, buy some metal, sell some guns.
probably hit self-sufficiency at some point. Job done. Ooh, more tools is kind of good. Uh, I will stop and harvest these pills. Sure thing. Seems like a good thing. And we'll wait for uh, Jofina here to have full health, and we'll go out and do another big, uh, another big scavenge loop. There we go. The wind turbine is done. Problematic butts. Thanks, Nerge. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're fine. It's nuclear winter. It's got nothing on us. Crap. Another radiator's done. Oh, well. Someone's at the gate. They look like a scientist. Hey, TQ's back. A functional car is parked by the gate, and a woman steps out. The apothecary is here. Uh, we can give her tools. If we give her tools, then we get science. You know what? I'm down with that. We don't really need any pills right now. We have so much medicine. I think silence. I think this is just uh, bugged right now because. If people are irradiated, you'd see them, you'd see like glowy bodies everywhere. I think that's just a problem. The infections, on the other hand, are very real. I do love the idea of our magical pill witch, though. How's the pollution harvesting? We're starting to run out, which makes me very sad. Alright, hold on. What's this? Or there for the second heart one. Okay. Can do. So what do we have now? Well, I guess we have to go back here. Outpost so we now have two outposts, two outposts, two outposts, one outpost. Uh, I think I have another one all route. Okay, I do. Good. Yes. Wait, I need a 90 health, but it looks like it's not full. I'm going to assume you're fine to go out back into business. Report. All right. Let's start grabbing some stuff. Where do I want to go here? Oh wait, where's the quest? Let's go there first. Okay. What do we have here? Yes. Reporting in. All right. Numbers going up more in the day. All right. I think we got this. Hey, Finley was born. Good stuff. I think everything is fine, chat. I think, I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. Yeah! Things are turning green! I think we did it. And then our energy production is going to skyrocket because all of the space heaters are going to turn off, right? That's how that works. We've made a new discovery. Have we? Oh, large rotors are done. Incredible. All right. So let's figure out a new tech tree here. You know what? Sure. Research Q. Wait, what were cabinets? Hold on. <laughs> what even is this? Oh, the arcade. Right, of course, of course. Is this game good? I really enjoy it, Blue. It's interesting. It's... I was realizing I've got a number of, like, little nitpicks with it. But the only reason I nitpick is it is because, like, the core idea behind it is really, really, really solid. And I can only imagine this game getting better and better. Uh, Paradox has a tendency to just like continuously work on games and release DLC and stuff like that. And this game is already super fun, right? And I just, I can only imagine this game getting better. Is it perfect? No. There's like a bunch of little UI things that like bug the heck out of you. All right, hold on. You are Leaf? You're Leaf. 
fill the leaf outpost. All right. But if like if you like survival city builders, this no. game's solid. Did we win? We won the battle. Heck yeah. All right. Um. Uh, you know what? I think I think they're strong enough that I can take this. We're gonna push our luck a little bit here. I also just really like city builders, so I might be a little biased. Oh, I have two scavengers. Wait, I still have one scout. That's fine. So yeah, this is about what our end team is going to look like, unless we find somebody who just has way better stats. Like, if we could turn uh, this fighter into a fighter that has seven movement, then I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty locked in for the rest of this playthrough. Alright, we're making positive 30 power at night now. Heck yeah. So all we need to do is buy a couple more batteries and we're good to go. Actually, what I probably could do... What if I started making my own batteries? Dare we dream? Can I do that yet? Making tools. Oh, right. I should research... Um, I should research better clothing. Or even is that... Authorization, circuit assembly, biofuel, mass production, a concrete auto extractor. Oh, are my storage areas full? Or is that a non-issue? I'll explain it in just a second, Corpocracy. It's it's actually kind of a giant pain in the butt the way it works, but it, I mean, it is what it is. How do I make better clothing? It, like, really wants me to make guns, and I'm just like, no. What's up, Treyon? Good to see you, friend. Okay, so clothing is not here. Clothing is not under resources. Circuit assembly. No. Motorization. Oh, that lets us guess the garage. I kind of want the garage. I'm looking for a recipe to make better clothing because I'm still making baby clothes I need to go methodically okay clothing or pardon me food alternate proteins insulation expanded kitchen no you think I got sewing machines a while ago wait could I have just been upgrading my buildings and I ignored that this whole time oh crap I totally could <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Making gums seems like a trade since you need so few. Yeah, right. Someone's at the gate. They look like a scientist. Wait, TQ's back. Barely functional car is parked by the gate, and a woman steps up. I'll take the science. Thank you very much. I have enough fiber for that. Yeah, I totally do. Thank you. I was just being very silly. Let's try upgrading this and seeing what happens. <laughs> Making guns is unnecessary. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Oh, specialists are ready. How are we doing? We won the battle. All right. So all that's done. Man, I could collect so much good stuff here. No, you know what? Screw it. Okay. I have scavengers for that. Just head home. Just head home. Yep. Go got. heal up. Your command. All right, quest time. What do we have here? Burglar paranoia. All right, so he sent a scavenger. All right, what is this? The simple rundown shop isn't too difficult to find. As is to be expected, everything usable or edible has been looted. 
Behind the dust and the spider webs, there is a small office at the back of the store. An unassuming wall safe has been tucked away in the corner with its door gathering dust. If the gossip is true, there could be another safe hidden behind this one. The scavenger is carefully going to pull it out. Hey, we got a fun box, some science, and uh, some money. Good stuff. Okay, it is time to scavenge everything. Go. Not gonna work. By the way, sir, it's a game never tells you, but the water stored is tracked per building, not global. So a single water tower can run out really quickly when supplying multiple branches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I encountered that once already. Having, having to have them move over stuff. We'll get there eventually to upgrade stuff. All right, yo, Treon. I already have two people at each of these. I should really do three, shouldn't I? All right, I answered my own question. Okay, let's make uh, four more of these engineering buildings. Let's just try and get that done as quickly as possible. Let's just scale, right? Like, why wouldn't I? 200 scavenge, 6 AP, great. Rose is going to become another... Uh, <laughs> is going to become another engineer. All right, Grand Taylor's done. Yes. Yes, please. Check for more. These, fantastic. I mean, unavailable. Oh, I have two trades already. Okay. That's fine. Basically, recruit specialists on cooldown. Make them into engineers until you finish the quest. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like, it's, it's all actually quite achievable, so probably no reason not to. We build an additional trade center? That's fair. I honestly... It, it's feeling a little boring. Like, I'm really worried about, from a streaming point of view, the gameplay loop of just clicking on the same action time and time again of like, oh god, Surge is just showing us. All you're doing is like the UI map right now. I don't feel like I'm playing a city builder anymore. I feel I feel like, I feel like I'm playing this weird like high level management game, which is kind of silly. All right, uh, let's find another shield. There we go. Here's the closest shield. Go. So every time I need a new engineer, I'm just gonna click on whichever one has the lowest until they all even out. Like I won't make a fourth building for something, but. And game quest is just waiting unless you start it super early. It's bad design. Immo. It's a little rough. Oh, maybe I can do another happiness building, though. Uh, we don't have a shrine yet. Shrine doesn't require water or power. Okay, so let's make this. Oh, it requires 85 components. Never mind. The shrine, though, we can put somewhere. Yeah, why don't we put the shrine here across from the botanical garden? And I do plan on moving this food tent. So actually, let's just destroy this. Wait, hold on. Uh, I do need another one. I thought I said... So food here. Oh, right. Uh, so someone was asking about how food works when it's full. So it says it's full, but I have other storage. The problem is my precious idiot people put everything in the same buildings all the time. And then when you tell them not to store something in it, they don't remove it. They just don't add new to it. Also, our people are dumb at pathfinding in this game. So if I don't spread out where food is available, they'll literally starve to death. So what I'm doing is I'm making redundant food storage places and not selling my food. So that at each different corner of the base, they can get the, the supplies they need and not die. It's, uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Oh, wait, there's a, uh, there's food to scavenge there. I'll need to wait for somebody to get home. Something unusual has been found in the forest surrounding the colony. Wagon is parked deep in the woods, but the windows are covered with a tarp. There are footprints around the vehicle, but they aren't tracked. There's something valuable inside, but opening it without risk. I like how it says, search the wagon, but arm the colonists. And it gives me 15 wooden boards. They can't have guns. 
They get wood with... All right, here's some sticks. Have fun, kids. Like, what? Hey! Oh, we got more batteries. Cool. Uh, anyways, I need to move this. Because this is super redundant. I'm just going to delete it. The Simpsons taught us anything. Stick is very powerful. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, let's make a shrine. Shrine is going to go here. And then we'll make a library. What does library need? Library requires power. We've made a new discovery. Oh my god, library is huge. Okay, sorry. Shrine, get out of here. <laughs> shrine can fit somewhere else. Library, though. Oh my god, it's so big. Look at the size of this thing. So if we put the library there, can I fit the shrine in at an angle beside it? Yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. Construction of large ranch is done. Now, what is the actual advantage here? Like, what do you do that's different? Can you hold more sheep? I don't understand. You consume more water. Okay. Doesn't actually seem great. All cleaned up. All right. Reporting in. Large ranches hold more animals, might be better protected from environment, but also produces pollution. I believe they all produce pollution. Or am I mistaken? Hold on. Food. We've got ranch. Ranch does not produce pollution. And then when we upgrade it, creates pollution. All right. That's fine. It's right by my bodies anyways. Oh, that's actually not great. Uh, can I unupgrade it? Crap. Whatever. Hey, there we go. We've made a shrine and everyone clapped. We're finishing the library. Are we actually positive now? Our happiness bonus is minus 64. This is amazing. Normal ranch is pollution less, which is I prefer them. Goes for as small as eco footprint as possible. Yeah, all right. Let's just delete this then. Sorry, sheep. I'm going to butcher you. And we're going to destroy this building and just do a small ranch. I don't actually see a reason to keep this. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this burial pit now. Get rid of that pollution as well. Oh, everyone's sad again. Ah, it's probably fine. My specialist is ready for an action. Who's that? Yep. Okay. All right, the one thing we do have to continuously buy, though, is these electrical components. Can't get enough of them. I'll buy happy boxes, too. Why not? Also gives us the ability to get rid of our pollution. It's still funny. I wish destroying a burial pit didn't cause sadness if you also have a cemetery, right? How are we doing here? 64 spare houses? All right. So we're researching motorization now. We're going to get these cars online. If I upgrade this, is this super bad? It like takes down my whole power grid. Start buying rare metals too. I'm sitting on 300, but I mean, that's probably fair. <clears throat> God, 
we're sitting on so much food. There are survivors at the gate. Hey, there you go. That's how you grow your colony. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards. Adult the children components, yes. Oh, and a scout. Hey, right on. We have another engineer chat. All right, um, where did I send you? You are heading towards one of those two. All right, leaf or wind. So let's head you towards, let's head you towards a leaf. Marcus is hostile. Why? But why? All right, we're going to go for defense because it's lower. 94%, 95%. Oh, it's exactly the same, though. All right. Outpost is now complete. Wait for cooler things to unlock. Sale. Right, 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 right. So I was going to make a new power grid here. Right, I need more components first. Heck. Once we get more components... Can I start making components yet? Hold on. This is a huge bottleneck for us. Mechanic makes screws. Tool shop makes tool. Tailor makes clothing. Gun shop makes gun. Can I not make those? Component is the second to last tech resource. Oh. All right, we're motor and stuff here. So you said second to last tech resource. Oh, you mean the electronics factory. Yeah, let's grab that after. Actually, if I do this. Yeah. <clears throat> So it looks like the oh I don't have a memorial yet. Oh. We've made a new discovery. I'm going to put the memorial right across from the hospital or the cemetery, pardon me. <clears throat> Motorization is complete. Okay. The garage rather. It can also be used to assemble specialist teams into one car before you put them out on the map. Oh, that's kind of cool. What a bustling little apocalypse. Thank you, Doe. I'm quite pleased. Mission complete. Consider it done. All done. All right, what else do we want to scavenge here? We can get some better tools. I kind of just want to clear everything, so I'm not really going to evaluate if they're good or not. I'm just going to take them. <laughs> I hope that's okay. I just want it all. My, like, completionist brain is kicking in. Hey, rude! Come on, now. <clears throat> what the heck? Did anyone refresh their trade and offer our components now? Nope. All right. We'll keep waiting. What a good little town we have here. All right. How much is this to make a large turbine? I can make one. 
I think that's fine. Let's get that down, and then let's start filling these batteries. Oh, the batteries are already full. Whatever. Why are some people walking and some people sprinting? That's a very good question. I have no idea. Like... <laughs> some people just have somewhere to be, I guess. Yeah, I, I got no answer for you there. Don't think that double garden wall looks good. Some people are better at time management. That's right, you know. You don't have to run if you budget time properly and you're not late. I like it. I like it. Theoretically, everyone should be moving equally fast when they're on the zooming paths, but like... Your guess is as good as mine. Hey, what do we got? What do we got here? What did you discover? You discover any science? No, but we can get more jackets if we really wanted them. Yep. Hey, Joe, come hop in the car. Let's go, buddy. Where's the next science spot? Oh, man, is there nothing close? Oh, we hit most on this side. That's kind of cool. Uh... Wow. Wow. There we go. Can paths be too wide? Are they always one way? They're definitely two way, and I think you can make them wider. I wonder if that is the sort of thing that's happening. Wait, are we leaving food on the ground now? Venison, maybe? I guess they're just eating, I don't know. You ask, you ask good questions, I don't have a good answer. I wonder if I should get rid of these baby crops here. It's one whole worker, and I definitely don't need the food. Yeah, let's, uh, let's free up some more workers here. I realize I may have wasted some food, but I don't think I care at this point. Oh no, the food just lands there. Because then what I can do, we've had some issues here. We can put a safety guard post at the door here, right? Actually, let's make it symmetrical. And let's test your uh, paved road plan here, right? There we go. Hey, what's up, Imposter Architect? Thank you for 28 months. Confirmed Surge doesn't care about feeding his people. Wait a minute. That's not what I said at all. Uh, I could potentially, now that we have water and everything, I could potentially, wait, build a food storage? Resources on the ground without suitable storage. Ah, we'll get there. Alright, that's what a big road looks like, by the way. If you're curious. I think it does look kind of cool, actually. Specialist is ready for work. Give me more leaf. Okay. Outpost is now complete. Road big, yeah. Oh, pollution deposited. Or, pardon me, pollution deposit depleted. Or pollution. Yeah, see, here's one of the problems. <gasps> These people who go way, way, way out. All right, let's follow them and let's see if they starve to death. Ah, you know what? Maybe we need a food storage up here. What do you think? What do you think? You think that's a good call? Or do you think that just results in them dying? All right, so you walk back. When do you eat? I have food right here. Do you eat first? No, I don't know where you're going. Where are you going? Why would you go there for food? You had to pass three other places for food. Are you kidding? Oh, no, they're idiots. I 
I'm pretty sure there's no longer any surface plastic in this world. And if that's the case, I can finally delete this as well. Let's just do a quick circle. Nice. All right. Delete that building. All right. What do we got here? We got a new specialist ready for hire. But first off, uh, well, let's explore some more stuff. All right. You become another engineer. Scientist. Sure. Engineer out of you. And what's the lowest here? Um, we're about to have one of those, I believe. I think I need a health one, right? Even though health is getting kind of high. All right, go here. Huh? Going. All right, all my fighters are home for healing now, which is very good. To be fair, when you're hungry, you pass several restaurants before going to the one that you want to. I mean, all right, that's, I mean, that's fair. But you're also not in an apocalypse situation, right? Like... Okay, nobody's selling the good stuff. I'll take Treon's advice here. We'll buy all of their rare metals. And all their fun boxes. And all their medicine, why not? If you can have all my pollution, you're welcome. All my basic clothing, I don't need those anymore. Uh, any of my guns that aren't the best guns. And also some of the best guns. So I'm actually like overflowing with food. So let's try and sell a little bit here. I think I've got I think I've got too much of everything. I think we're at the point now. Ah, soybeans aren't too overflowing. Alright, let's just sell some more venison. There we go. Maybe they just wanted the shelf aged fish. I mean delicious and nutritious. What's not to like? So I unlocked the technology for a garage, and I still don't know if I care. Is that bad? Yes. How may I help? How may I help you? Yes. Garages are kind of meh. yeah. Like I I realize and respect that I can use them to like go fast, but all right, there we go. We've got more protection at our front gate now too. They're more of a quality of life thing. Sure. Wait, another quest. The Urban Cult. With large-scale food industry and ruins and diseases running rampant, major cities were eventually evacuated or abandoned. These days, their lonely, eerie structures serve as a grim reminder of the past events. Pockets of radiation and roaming bandits looking for easy prey make them treacherous, but profitable places to scavenge. The scouts reckon one city close by could be worth a visit. All right. We'll uh, we'll send our fight team over there later. The bear has been depleted. I repeat. The bear has been depleted. We've made a new discovery. <laughs> Uh, circuits are done. There we go. Now that's some good stuff. And I want to put that in here. Do I have two places doing that? I do? Alright, here. That's what I'm going to do. Advanced scrapper. Let's delete this building. And I'm going to put the circuit workshop. Doesn't produce elect... Yes. I just, I'm really happy it doesn't make pollution. I was hoping it was that footprint. Nice. Alright. Um, I need... More of you. That's fine. Specialist is ready. Who's that? Mission complete. Okay, you got more of those. Good, good, good. Uh, get more clothes, I guess. Of course. All my fighters are ready. That's fine. Oh, my scout. All done. <laughs> sure, I'm glad we scouted that area out, eh, chat? Fantastic. All right. Where is left to be scouted? Over here. Of course. Aria was born. Amazing. 
Some sort of circuit city? Yeah. Alright, the next thing I want to do is get rid of this warehouse. And move the heater. To here. And hopefully have that cover the same area. Get rid of that coverage. Awkward. <laughs> That's fine. We'll uh, we'll get upgraded burners soon, right? I mean, there's technically no building that's not covered. Game arcade. Yeah. I'm hoping the footprint of the game arcade is exactly... Oh, like a glove! I don't know if I have power coverage there yet, but we can do a large transponder. Alright, things are going to go down for a second. Nope, they're not because I don't have any gears. Build more food storage? Get out of here. All right, well, whatever. Let me do the food storage up here that I was threatening to do anyways. Will people eat here or will they be dum-dums and run all the way? Whatever. Wait, can I put another food storage like here as well? No, not quite. Doesn't quite fit. Lily was born. A specialist is ready for an activity. What are you ready for? Who's ready? It's not you. Did they lie to me? What were they ready for? Okay, I need gears. I need gears and I need circuits. Who's got either of those for trade? Yes, good. You do. Give me 60. Thank you. You can have my pollution. And all of my guns. Oh, wait. I need to start moving food. Yeah, like sell like 500 soybeans or something like that. Probably want two or three electronics factories. Yeah, but it doesn't look good on the footprint. So it'll do. It'll do. And all this water storage that I don't even know if I need. Wait, am I putting a radiator when I have one right here? Sure am. I'd have to come up with a whole new place for them. Wait, maybe I could. I mean, I guess I've got the new power grid up here. If I need so many, maybe I just do them right along the side there. All right, new plan. New plan. I'll listen to Treon. Treon won't lead me astray. If they're not all together, they look terrible. That's uh, unacceptable. So what I'll do is I'll make another gear factory there. Okay, I'm completely out of components. All right, components first, chat. All right, my fighting team is ready. So let's send them out. Or we'll send them out to the uh, the urban cult first. Where's that located? I wish I could click on the map to figure that out. All right, we're here. Great. You know what? Maybe I do take up the advice we had to make a second trade colony here. And that way we don't always have to have it up, but anytime we do need more trade stuff, it's just available. Right? I think that just makes sense. It's cheap to make. Okay, I've got 20 gears. I 
need 30, though. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep waiting. Down the river. A group of colonists have gotten curious about a nearby river and want to see what it's like for traveling. <laughs> you know what? You go float float. I love river floating. Go ahead and try. After being away most of the day, the group returns with their boat full of supplies. They got some plastic and a med kit. That's great. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. How much is it to build a electronics factory? That only costs 20. So that seems like a real good use here. Let's put this one down first. I'm just going to try and make this hole. Might be able to put four along the side there. And we could run uh, stuff up the back. That's not going to have power. <laughs> uh, oh, well. We've made a new discovery. Advanced soldering. Good. Float float paid off? It usually does. It usually does. But am I not researching anything? All right, let's keep going here. Uh, mass production for the auto extractors. I don't think I care about that yet. I don't care about... Wait, there's one thing in food I want, which is larger water towers. Maybe that's under plumbing and infrastructure. Wait, hold on. Oh, my other trade center is there? Yeah, that's fine. All right, there we go. We can do four trades now, and that's only whenever we see high priority stuff. We don't trade just because we have to. Uh, I have 200 fun boxes. Okay, we don't have to buy any more. We desperately need all of those coming in basically all of the time. So we look for electronic components and uh, and then just chill. So yeah, I feel like we've got like a pretty consistent loop. And this is just going to happen over and over for a while here. Okay. Yep. So uh, whatever. Let's have you go here because you're the slowest. Wait, that's not good logic. Hold on. The urban occult, the outskirts of the city are taken over by vegetation of nothing of value. Walking further downtown, the air is suddenly filled with what seems to be singing. Closer inspection reveals a group of people near several fire pits chanting in a ritualistic tune while holding hands. All right. There's some kind of cult. I sneak to their stockpile. Oh. So I can either grab clothing and medicine, weapons and medicine, or a robe to blend in. Let's grab a weapon and medicine and see what happens here. I get five shotguns and some pills, and I get away. Fantastic. All right. Uh, where are we going to go fight? I guess let's head this way. Negative. What's up? Sure thing. Huh? Sounds good. Yep. All right. Huh? Okay. Perfect. Hold on. Two... Two, three, three. Okay, so we make a life support one here. You got it. Outpost is now complete. Main reason the electronic factory have two recipes to select from components and electronics. And electronics need components to be built. So like three factories: one for making the components, and then two for making components and then turning those components into electronics. Oh, interesting. Okay. Your math checks out. I like the random person who's just screaming, I'm bleeding. <laughs> like, thank you for that voice line, I guess. Sure. All right, metal's depleted. Awesome. So I figure that means that this is now completely exhausted as well. So let's do one more circuit around. And I think we've, com we've completely depleted, with the exception of pollution... Every single surface thing here. 
Heat wave. Colonists drink twice the amount of water. Crop yields and open fields suffer. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to have irrigated crops? All right, I think I'm good. Go ahead and take that building down. That's where I need greenhouses? Yeah, I'm not making those. So we've got a fair amount of water. Our consumption is 139. All right, maybe actually I... Where are all my wells? I think I can just make more. I kind of just love this. Right? Just throw wells down everywhere, right? Nobody works them. There's no reason not to. Is this indeed the end game? I hope so. We've made a new discovery. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe it's just the mid game, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Alright, a train convoy is here. Okay. What you got? Nothing. Alright, good talk. Wait. No, we don't want those. During the apocalypse, oh, this is new. Earth took an unprecedented hit to its fragile ecosystem. Wait. And the afterquakes can still I've built literally any. What's the next step? What do you mean build any engineer outpost? I've made like 14 of these so far. Get out of here. <clears throat> Irrigation helps against heat waves, but also right, right. It's better for non-fertile ground, you're right. Oh, we'll help it survive a heat, oh, heat wave. All right. You know what? Like, sure. Nope, that's a mistake. Not there. There are survivors at the gate. Minus 95? Uh. <laughs> A ragged bunch. Hello. Yo, come on in. Come on in. Oh, great. Another person that we can turn into a, uh, a specialist. Great. So what do I don't have? Uh, three, two, three, three. So I want medicine. Fanatics are marching towards... Okay. Doomsday comes, sure. Huh? Whatever. We win! Cool fight! <laughs> Minus 117. Seems bad. My water well is getting built here. Oh, right. I can make a super cool mecha... One now, can't I? No, I don't have parts or components. Never mind.
All right, let's get a couple more of these here. Check that that biome was actually wasteland. You sent them to the plains. Oh, the quest is for a different one. I'm sorry. I just assumed everything is the wasteland. So this is a wasteland biome. Never mind. All right, go there. Go there. Look, there's a lot of words. I'm going to be honest, I kind of just skimmed them. Right, minus 17, good. Specialist is ready for action. Are they? You lied to me. Don't lie to me. Alright, what do you think? Another four? Another four engineering depots? Who's it? Oh, is this Joe Kim the scientist? Yeah, get out. Get out and do Not some science. Out. Not gonna work. Okay. There we go. You don't need to read, just look at the word shape, and it's usually close enough. Yeah, but I always get punished when I do that. I don't get it. Hey, there we go. We're in the positive for water use now. Love to see it. Ah, I see. The farmers should really be responsible for helping fill the water tanks, too. You know, just saying. Soy, soy. Uh, carrot is just better than corn. What are you? I guess one, one corn, one soy. It said carrot is better than corn. What am I doing? Why did I make corn? Literally just said that. Get out of here. One spe- Oh, cool. We have a new specialist ready. So let's grab them. Oh, fighter with 7 AP. Awesome. Okay. Uh, this is actually really good. And I'm going to replace... So this is uh, Jorky, our brand new friend. What's up? I believe it's Johnny who only has six. How may I help? Yeah, Johnny head home. Going. Jorky go fight. What's up? What you need? Consider it done. All right, you two uh, go punch. Right. There we go. There we go. Look at how fancy it is, chat. Our trade convoy is here. It's a good a time as any to see if anything new is available. Now. <clears throat> Alright, if you're out of water, maybe I upgrade this tank. Alright, wait, can I not? Can I not upgrade it? Man. Alright, one other little pet peeve I have for this game. I do not understand why. The upgrade tree... The upgrade tree just feels needlessly punishing. Like, why can't small water tanks be upgraded to large water tanks? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense to me. Job done. Okay. Because it's especially frustrating that if you want to upgrade it, uh, so for example, if I go to upgrade my transponders, right? <clears> or <throat> transformers, whatever these things are called. 
my my grid is going to go down temporarily. But if I want larger power here, you know what I mean? Right, this needs power. Exactly what I'm talking about. Leo is now an elder. Now, where is my town? Hold on. What are you complaining about? Are you done? Mission complete. Heck yeah. Alright, getting back in the car, Joachim. And now, where is the next one? Here we go. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Do we have anyone else who wants to move here? Yes! Four adults? Amazing. Head on back to the colony, please. Alright, can I harvest this? Because I didn't I didn't want carrots. I didn't ask for this. Hey, there we go. Now we have positive 160 water. Great. Perfect. You know what we should do, just in case? There we go. Almost back up to our pre-followed population. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, here we go. Get some components. Have all my pollution. Still funny. That's sturdy clothing. Do we have any old clothing? No, all right. On the lookout for uh, screws as well. Actually, I realize sometimes they have more. Yeah, I should click in there to make sure there isn't something I actually want hidden. Nope. All right, let's keep going. Idle scout. Your command sounds scout. Good. Hostiles defeated. You did it. We won the battle. All right. So where are we headed next? Uh, let's head up this way. Okay. How may I help you? Consider it done. Ready. Right away. All cleaned up. Okay. Good stuff. My let's pleasure. keep going here. Engineer idle on the map. Nice. All right. Three, two. So we want another heart one here. Research uh -huh. the wasteland starts. The desolate scenery is a continuous reminder of what people can do when the morality of actions is not Plot. limited by laws or rules of engagement. The soil is heavily contaminated thanks to the nuclear and chemical warfare that ravaged the continent during the first years after the apocalypse. After decades, there's little left. What remains has been beaten by the elements, toxins, and intense radiation. To understand the effects of the environment, it is important to compare the observations to similar, less affected samples from another place. The best way is to visit another battlefield and gather materials from there to understand how each material behaves in these hazardous conditions. There's little left to compare, but rusty wreckage bones and ruins are a start. So I have to visit a battlefield? Research on the wasteland starts. Sorry, what does visit a battlefield mean? 
been watching for about 30 minutes. It isn't clear to me that this game is a pure sandbox or if it does some sort of story like Frostpunk. It's, uh, it's kind of in the middle. It's actually very much in the middle. Trayon, what's a battlefield? Who has to visit the battlefield? Instructions are unclear. Should make a fourth here, because I have three, 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 three. Wait, production halted? I'm sorry, what? Yo, no, no, no. What do you mean halted? There's a quest marker? Hold on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Scout, stop what you're doing. Cancel. Uh, get in a car? Oh, hi, cutie. Can't do that. Who's heading back? Yeah. Johnny's heading back. Johnny might be the closest to the quest marker. Yeah, there we go. What Five we turns. Okay, that's not too bad. Man, this takes so long and they interrupt me. That's brutal. You'll do more research. You may get it then. Yeah, so Frostpunk is very, very, very narrative and makes you feel really bad all the time. And this is a, honestly, it kind of reminds me of Surviving Mars, which is another Paradox IP, in that it's like, it's kind of a, it's a city builder that has a meta plot that's happening, but they're a little bit more decoupled, if that makes sense. Uh, give me a second here, friends. I need to take some throat goo, because my throat is raspy. Okay, I'm back. Thank you very much for sticking around. Between Beach, Kathleen, and Search, there's been a cabinet full of goo at the moon base. I I keep my goo at home. Thank you very much. Roger. Keep all of. Oh no 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 no! That's not what I wanted to click on. No, get down there. Not going to happen. Uh, I wanted me to return, not you. Hey, Lady Atarka, with 40 months. Thank you so much, my friend. Hope you're having a fantastic day. 
That's a real long time. Yeah, this throat goo was actually introduced to me by Jacob at Desert Bus. That's where I started gooing. <laughs> I got any garbage I can sell you? Not yet. I do have some fish, though. The big 40. Not quite there yet. Ready. Not going to happen. Pardon me. You've been too productive this morning. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing about having a productive morning is you're basically free to do nothing the rest of the day. It's wonderful. If I sit down at like 1030 in the morning, I'm like, whew, well, that was a lot. That means the day is done. Then it's time to just like curl up with a book and a coffee and write the rest of the day off. Am I right? How are we doing here toilet wise? Everyone's fine. No, I wasn't offended, Durgib. I was like, I'll just have you know, I'm not very goo focused. Thank you very much. Um, actually, Oliver's old. Charlotte is dead. Gotcha. <laughs> Another day at the colony, apparently. Got a laundry dude, but still plenty of chill time. Nice, friend. That's awesome. All right, we got like mega extra water here. Hi. Specialists are ready for action. Who's that? You. Oh, you're home. You? Your order check. But you don't deny Beach and Kathleen. Uh, Beach would be more ointments. And I think if Kathleen had a stash anywhere, it would be a stash of like almonds. <laughs> There's a new quest available. There's a new quest. There's a thick pillar of smoke on the horizon. Whether it's a wildfire, a distress signal, or something else. You know, I don't think I care. I'm not I'm going to ignore your quest. Quest failed. What do you mean, failed? More like quest avoided. Kathleen Stash is a peanut butter jar she keeps at the office to spoon out of. Nice. Nice. All right. So we're making this enormous water storage here, just in case in the future anything bad happens. We've got our massive power storage up here. Right, I need to put a lightning rod. Once we fix our component and parts problem, massive lightning area. Can somebody please finish this so I can start producing components? I beg of you. My batteries, they're starving. <laughs> please. Uh, you know what I should probably do? I should probably make a couple more restaurants here. I think that would help with... Um, wait, do restaurants cost components? I'll be very upset if they do. No, I need this one. Oh, they don't! Heck yeah! Alright, let's make two more of these. Welcome to Restaurant Town. Population us. They need power? Also don't need power. They do, however, probably need to be heated. That's a radiator. Okay, what's this? That's a transformer. Okay. So, if I do a this... Where's my radiator at? It's under... I thought it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposed to put it here. Transformer's in exactly the wrong spot. I'm very upset. I'll put it here. Why is food good for you and why is eating a lot of it bad for you? Ooh, truly an enigma. Truly an enigma.
Wait, I just build crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, I just clicked on things because they make me happy, and then I realized that I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough anything to build these radiators. Whatever, I don't care. It'll get done when it gets done, right? I can always just buy more. How dare they be out of stock? Don't they realize how desperate I am? What's wrong with these people? Give me all your metal. Have this garbage. These rifles. Oh god, I have so... Oh, I didn't put a cap on sturdy clothing. I just realized. Uh, let's cap that. Sell some of those. Have some guns, please. Oh, I'm already making enough money. All right, hold on. Um, where is my my district here? Yeah, that's a problem. Let's get to uh, let's get to like, I don't know. Let's say 80. 80 is your cap. Similarly, oh god, my tools. Let's say 80 is our cap here too. Specialist is ready on the map for something. What you got? All right, all right. Okay. Why is Joe Kim in combat? That doesn't make sense. Joe Kim is in a vehicle, not in combat. Feel like you're lying to me. Of course. Hi, TQ. Yep. Good morning, my friend. Mm. Let's good. wait till backup gets there. I want to take as little damage as possible. Wait, how close is um Johnny? Johnny's two turns away from the quest. Okay. Uh huh. What do we have here? All right, you're healthy? Nice. All right, Jofina. Get on out there, Jofina. There are things to scavenge. Starting down here. Go get those tools. Okay. Water well contaminated. Oh, uh... Just destroy that. Train convoy arrived. Nice. That's a sign that maybe we can buy other things. What's everyone else got planned today? That's a very good question. What are my plans? Uh, I want to stream for probably like five to six hours or until we beat the game. Whichever, whichever comes first. And then... What else was on my to-do list today? I'll have to check in with Joe. What's that, Sweeney? Oh, I have to buy allergy pills. Yeah, I ran out of allergy pills. And I think that's about it. You're decorating the tree today? That sounds super cozy. Heck yeah. Lots of online gift shopping. So, Joe, the absolute hero that she is, Joe has already finished all of our holiday shopping because, of course, she did, right? I'm dual wielding the Gwent World Master Stream with Surge and a group Discord call watching the Masters and I have three screens in use and snacks. Dang, Trayon. Accident at the word at the wind turbine, that's bad. A few oh no! Fetch some adults to the wind turbine. The children's crudely flown kite has flown right into the turbine. We're sorry! We didn't mean to, the child says, holding back tears. Climbing up there to untangle the rotor is a little dangerous. Wow. Send up a colonist, send up the father, or send up a child. <laughs> what are these options? I'll send up a colonist. Ideally, this means a trained professional. A woman rushes to the scene before volunteers can be sought. Oh dear, what did my kids do now? Not the mother! She asks, she's told the situation while she consults his children. Easily kicks her shoe off, climbs up with little difficulty, gets to the top, untangles the kite. There. Now, no more playing around the machines, all right? God. What a hero. What an absolute hero that was. All right, John, are you in position yet? No, not yet. This feels like Frost Punch, but even more heart-wrenching. No, it's not nearly as bad as Frost Punk. Like, 
There are some options that kind of suck, but not even close. This is, yeah, not at all the same game. All right, hold on. Plot time. Plot time. Beneath a layer of dirt, the ground is covered by old wreckage and weapons of war. No vegetation grows around the battlefield, and it's hard to traverse the terrain without tripping over the bones and helmets half buried in the sand. This place should provide plenty of test samples, taking them back to the wasteland outposts and researching how that environment starts to affect intact materials will help to resolve many of the current engineering problems with the Doomsday Bunker. Sorry, the uh, After Party Bunker. Remember, different name. There are plenty of samples to collect, but also other things that are going to help in other fields of research. Some of this progress could be shared. Yes, I mean, there's literally no downside. I'm drowning in science. Aid other societies. The world has changed, and there's little to do except adapt and change with it. Thanks to efforts done by the engineers, there is now enough to keep building the bunker. Oh, cool. The expedition also found information from the past. Notes on the old maps showed how the capital region was badly hit by initial impacts during the early days of the apocalypse. The remains on the battlefield did not have any official markings on them. These battles took place only a few years after the first swarm of, com of comets was discovered. The nation's downfall must have been quick and brutal as the power vacuum was filled by these warring factions. None of them are left, but some of the existing factions may be descendants. Okay. Continue building the bunker? Sure. Wait, first off, you head home. All right. Mission complete. You scout. All right. Anywhere else left to scout? Or can you retire finally? Head south. Can do. What's up? You in position yet? Sure thing. Can you get there now? No, you can't. All right. Next turn. Wait. Joe Kim is done. Good. There's some more there's more science around here, right? Science? Hello, science? Get in the car, Joe. Time to go find some more science. There you go. We found out the comets were <laughs> pulled to Earth by a powerful vacuum. Ah, of course. All right, now hold on. More plot. The work continues relentlessly in the colony. As catastrophes keep increasing casualties... What are you talking colony, about? We're fine. The people cling to the bunker as the beacon of hope to cope with the losses. The efforts will eventually pay off as long as the construction keeps going. The project is far from finished. Engineers must keep on pushing even further to find more knowledge and key components so the work can go on. As the last expedition revealed, there is little time to react if the planet is yet again bombarded by objects from the outer edges of the solar system. Comets and asteroids are moving in cosmic velocities, and even the smallest impact would create damage equal to a nuclear weapon. Keep gathering knowledge. Wait, what happens here? Under construction? Okay. Alright, we're back. Oh, hey, I got a boosty! Hey! Alright, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Just a little bit better. How may I help? Engaging hostile. Uh huh. Oh my god, please. Engaging hostile, huh? Please just let me click. Ah! Engaging hostile. Wait. Sorry, can't do that. Are you not are you not in this fight? Hello? Yes. Whatever, I'll try it tomorrow, I guess. Okay. So I have these being built. I need more components. I hope I don't need components to build the component store. Hey, I don't! Amazing. Alright. Uh second component store. Oh my god, chat. Did I just Learn something devastating here. Our first component store isn't actually touching the sidewalk. I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, clearly we need to destroy that, right? There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Nobody saw a thing. 
There. Whew. That was almost really bad. Just means space for bushes? No. I don't know. We just rebuild it. There's a lot of wasted space here, but I guess I guess I haven't learned what like the ideal grid size is yet, right? 38 free homes. All right, that means I can probably make a couple more of these good houses. Is that correct? Oh, crap. I don't have any metal. What am I doing with my life? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Components and metal for sale? Take your antibiotics, too. So why not? I got money to spend. You can have my pollution. You're welcome. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? They don't like fish, so let's sell them some venison until... Wait, we're already in the positive. Anyone else got anything good? Oh, I can buy more gears! Yes, please. Give me all your parts. Hey, what's up, Zed? Welcome. Why not move the path? What? Paths are supposed to be in straight lines. I mean, ignoring that. Not a chance. No, you never move the path. How may I help? Showtime. There you go. Now they're helping in the fight. We've researched axial flow. What does that even mean? Oh, I'm researching it. Okay. Uh, the submerged pumping. Gathering water with buckets is cute and all, but a big call needs bigger water solutions. Introducing the water pump. Okay. Cool. Wait, can I upgrade this to a water pump? Uh -huh. Sure can't. All right, good talk. How are we doing here? Waiting on gears. How are we doing here? Waiting on sheet metal. Ah, crap. Everything is terrible. Wait, do I not have enough people mining metal? This is a solvable problem. This is an easily solvable problem, right? Yeah, I just put another metal mine down. What am I doing? Metal extractor. <laughs> I believe I did this? An old woman at the gate. Where did she come from? Without oh, it's the Riddler! Withered woman has appeared at the gate. Nobody saw her arrive, but some explain that there are rumors about an eccentric old lady living in the woods. All right, chat. I arrive unasked, unseen. And when I do it early, I bring death with me. What am I? I arrive unasked, unseen, and when I'm early... Bring death. It's probably frost, because an early frost will kill the crops, right? Anyone else got any other guesses? Winter. Yeah, but winter is frost, right? A snake! No! Ah, it's just frost. Ah, we did it! She gave us more rad pills. Thank you, witch. All right, we won this fight. Good. Won the battle. Okay, now we go this way. And she'll join next turn. Ah, uh, good morning, the Maricat. I'd say good morning, but it's the middle of the afternoon. You know, sometimes it's worth. Sometimes you just gotta have a good old sleep sleep, right? So hold on a second here. I have three, 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 which means I want to build one more of these. Oh, I can't. 
Oh, that's why I couldn't build it. That building removed my footprint. All right, that's fine. Actually, no, I don't need it. I'll just build another one after I take it. All right, create engineer out of you. And let's head to, what's the nearest one we can do? Let's head to the leaf here. No, we don't name them unless they stick around. Only the people who, only the people who stick around get names. What's up, Nyla? Good to see a friend. Names are for earners. Ofa. Oh, I mean, you're not wrong. All right, everyone's currently trading. Good, good, good. Several construction zones are lacking resources. How dare you? I mean, you're not wrong, but you don't just say that. I've basically created knighthood. Wow. That's amazing. In a good way, right? That's a good thing. God, nothing is done. Should I get rid of my old and sad kitchens? No, it's fine. Wait, why? Like, I have so much food. Why... Why do these suck so hard? Wait, seriously? Not connected to the energy network. Oh, that's bad. Ah, it doesn't matter right now. The Noble Order of Joe, I like it. No, 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 we only, we only put Joe in their name. If it makes sense, if it fits, you know what I mean? Specialist is ready. Okay, yeah, yeah, get in the fight. Get in the fight. Going in. Yep. We're losing. Oh my god, we're mega losing. Our poor dude! Jorky might die! Uh, all right, this is what happens when you don't coordinate properly and get everyone into the same fight at the same time. It's actually, like, What's up? awful when this happens. Check. I'm a lawful good feudal lord? Lawful good feudal lord. I'll take it. I'll take it. You hear that, chat? Lawful good. I hope Jorky doesn't die. I'll be sad. Oh, our mess hall is done. Awesome. So my assumption here is I have more than enough meat and vegetables that I should just be able to cook it all down, right? And in that way, we have less of a surplus of... less of a surplus of raw food and more of a surplus of processed food. Mixed meals are apparently the tech? Why is that? Two, two, two? Sure, whatever. I'll, I'll make mixed meals. Oh, then everyone is just like happily eating the right food all the time? Sure. Group of survivors at the front door. A ragged boat. Ooh. Ooh, they come bringing parts and candy. Look, if a bunch of mutants come to your colony and they offer candy, you just let them on in, right? All right, first things first, go see a doctor. Hey, look at that. We're finally back over 200, chat. 35 children. Crushing it. No, they weren't hostile. They were uh, mutated. <laughs> That's different. Can I afford to upgrade this? 
Sure cannot. All right, a trade convoy's here. Awesome. So that should get us some good stuff. It's all piled up by the door, I guess. What did I get from that one? Oh, I got metal. Okay. All right, now we keep playing the waiting game. Wait, a specialist? God, Jorky's gonna die. Are we gonna win in time? All right, what happens first? Does Jork? I can't pull Jorky out just by himself. Or can I? If I retreat, can I pull out just Jorky or does the whole fight end? Because I can win this fight. Jorky only has four hit points. This is super bad. My toilet to population ratio is fine. I just don't know if I can do this. Does the person retreating take damage? I don't know. All right, if I hit retreat, retreating affects the balance of power and will inflict extra damage to the specialist. Oh, uh, maybe they, I think they just die if they leave. You're right. Okay, they can't retreat. All right, well. Well, Jorky, thank you for, uh, all of your efforts in the cause. I hope you may I hope you survive. <laughs> I hope you survive. Alright, another trade convoy arrived. We've got parts now. Good. Nice, I can buy more parts. Take my garbage. Never not funny. Alright, I've got like too much food. Wait, seriously? That many carrots? Carrots and pollution. That's me. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Wait, did I lose money there? Or did I net money there? I may have lost money for the first time. Oh, good. The mechanic shop is finally done. All right, more people. Am I selling pollution? Yeah! They're buying. They're super happy to buy. It's, the, it's so wild. It's not sus. They're happy. See, what's sus is we don't know what they're doing with it, right? That's... That's the real weird part. Pollution and carrots in the same box. Yeah, do you want me to hoard all the pollution? That seems cruel. Hey, what up, Rocket John? Good to see you. All right, please don't die, Jorky. Specialist is in danger. Yes, wait, did we win? Oh my God, we won. Yo, let's go. All right, everyone home. All right. Uh -huh. Well done. Moving, huh? Well done. Right away. Who are you? Oh, right. Johnny becomes a specialist. I forgot about this. Uh, create an engineer out of you. Yep, good. So give me a second. You went to the Valley of the, of the Leaf, right? Okay. Roger. This is the Valley of the Leaf. We have... Three of everyone. So our new specialist. Our new specialist can go basically anywhere. Anywhere that isn't leaf. Alright, you're going here. You're gonna go to wind. Mission complete. Got some tools. Awesome. Go get those machine okay. parts. Have my polluted carrots, right? Oh, and uh Joe Kim is doing some more science. Job done. Heck yeah. Any other science to grab about? You know what? Let's just get in the car and go back. I don't know if I need a scientist for much longer, but we'll see. We've made a new discovery. What does axial flow do? That makes better 
Water thing, is that right? Clever engineering makes water gathering more efficient. Okay. All right, we've completed the infrastructure tree. Let's, uh, I'm just going to start clicking on things just so they're done. I don't really think I care anymore. All right, that's full. That's full. We're making mixed meals. Other. 39. Amazing. Okay. Things are getting built. Good, 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 good. Good. Trade convoy has arrived. Fantastic. Let's go buy some more. Alright. I think we've finally done it. Still funny. I think we've finally done it. I think we're stabilizing. Have these shotguns. Have some sturdy clothes. Have a couple guns. Dang. Been told to buy all of these machine these rare metals, even if I don't know what they're for. Oh, what happened here? Is that not getting every, any coverage? It is not. Can I change that? There we go. All right, the electronics factory, the second is done. Amazing. All right. So now, now, ooh, oh, it uses rare metals. I see. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm out of concrete? Oh, crap. How did that happen? This is supposed to be the post-scarcity economy. Wait. What? Why did I build these when these were available? Are you kidding me? I set up... Oh, my God. I thought these were all done. Why did I make all of this? That was so expensive. Chat. Derp. Oh my god, chat. Mission complete. Not feeling good right about now. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I'm out of concrete again. Can't keep happening. I mean, I can make literally another concrete maker here. Just do some more glitch trading? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Guess I could. God, 4,000 food is just way too much. So I could probably, you know what? Let's cool it a little bit on the uh, the hunting cabin, right? I think we could pump the brakes a little bit on the hunting cabin. Omicron no longer has minus one on the on the trade window. Dang. <laughs> God, six days to trade down there? That's a very long time. You figured we install some, like, uh, infrastructure or something to make trading back and forth a little bit more convenient? Alright. We'll never want... We'll never lack for metal again. That's for sure. Complete another two-story house. Amazing. All right, good. Ah, uh, that's what happened to all of my concrete. I made a bunch of houses all at once. So good news, friends. We now have more population than before the Great Irradiation event. So that feels kind of good, right? And our rare metals are quickly being consumed. Hey, Science Fair. That's our 100th Chivo. Chivo. 
Now, if we could only make our people happy. All right, we only have two Chivos. Clear all pollution and complete the tomorrow project. And then uh, we are GG. Not too long before GG. God, we're only 20% of the way. Oofa. So the good news is... It looked... Wait, did the game even take pity on us? Or is that just how the math works? God. Like, what is the expected play length of this? Unless you get started mega early. How long do they want one game to take? I feel this is way too slow. This is way too slow, right? We haven't had a fallout in a long time. No, don't say that! You're gonna curse us. We're gonna have a fallout. That's how you get fallout. Is that what you want? Uh, I mean, let's sell like 400 soybeans or something. Can't be unsaid now. Yeah, we're gonna lose like 700 people. <laughs> and it's all gonna be your fault, Steve. You'd love a new Fallout? Hey, are people excited for, um, what's that new Skyrim game coming out? The one in the, the one with the, the space, though. Space Skyrim. Seems like you want to get started on those outposts way sooner. Yeah, but like, if you're a new player like me, how would you even know that, right? I don't know. It just feels like it takes a very long time. Starfield! Yeah! Are folks stoked for Starfield? Not Outer Worlds. No, 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 no. The um, Bethesda is not working on a new Fallout, is not working on a new Skyrim, or, pardon me, Elder Scrolls. Instead, the next big one is uh, is Starfield. It's got the exact aesthetic you like from sci-fi. Yeah. Not sure excited or not, but I'll be the first Bethesda game post-acquisition by Microsoft. And to be honest, Bethesda hasn't been making the great decisions lately. Interesting. You're just talking about like 76 or is there more to that? I'm like not a huge sci-fi person, but I am a huge Bethesda games person. Like I've played with the exception of... Um, the pre-Morrowind Elder Scrolls. I've played, like, all of those games. I like them a bunch. Bethesda's is your kryptonite. Really? Like, the negative of what you look for in a video game. That's interesting to me. All right, let's make another large wind turbine here because we're getting low on power. Oh, no, that's not facing the right direction. Crap. Destroy. Cancel. Cancel. There. The devs want the playthrough to take hundreds of hours? Oof, uh, I'm on team give me shorter games. <laughs> like, look. My literal actual job is to play games all of the time, and I don't want a game that, like, this game takes too long to beat, right? You can include replayability without making something take forever. Yeah, and I thought 76 now is actually supposed to be, like, a legit good game. I thought 76 is just supposed to be actually really fun now. Your command. There's a new quest available. Bandit ambush. I'm just I'm just declining all these quests, by the way. There's been a lot of bandit activity near the town. Quest failed. 76 is really good now, yeah. We've made a new discovery. Have we now? Covered hives. I don't know if we're going to eat bugs. I think we've kind of got food solved for now. You've been enjoying this week's schedule? Minecraft during the week, saving the world on the weekends? Thank you, Steve. Yeah, I... <laughs> it's funny, because I definitely played... I definitely played, like, four hours of Minecraft last night. 
I just hopped in a call with uh, a bunch of friends and I did, I cured, I think it was only like eight villagers. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much work it is to do all the villager curing that I want to do. All right, uh, let's sell 400 venison, I guess. You want a single player story focused Fallout? Oh, you mean going back to like uh, Fallout 4? I want another New Vegas. I want another, like, way more narratively focused Fallout game. I think... I think the open world Fallouts were cool, but honestly, the Fallouts that I like the most are the very narrative one. Oh, did I say... Yeah, New Vegas, not 76. New Vegas is so good. It's so, so, so good. The narratively focused Fallout games are all made by non-Bethesda. Yep, you're not wrong. All right, Specialist is ready. Oh, Winter Storm is coming. Wait, hold on. That's bad. That means I need another transponder here. So let's go ahead and slap down a large... Or transformer, not transponder, whatever. So if I put it here, I think I start to get some interesting coverage. Oh, I can put it here. Can I? Oh, ho, he says. Can I reach that? I don't know. Let's find out. My big issue with Fallout 4 is I don't want to make a base. And it seemed that they really wanted people to make a base. Okay, we got another scout. Uh, Joe back here is going to be turning into literally anyone else. So hold on. Um, this is supposed to be a, a leaf. Or, pardon me, a wind? Okay. So if that's the case, what's Sobak going to turn... Or Jobak going to turn into here? So I have four and four. So I want a shield or a heart. Hey, uh, anybody who's got a lot of hours in this game, do I even need a scientist anymore? Because I'm kind of tempted to just turn my last scientist into a uh, yep. into another engineer, just to speed things up. You hated the base thing in the endless missions? Yeah, yeah. There's a great PC mod that does all the base building mod for you. That's kind of funny. Obsidian, right. Obsidian is doing a... They're doing kind of a um, an Elder Scrolls-esque first-person fantasy game, too. They teased that a while ago. Right, right, right. Hold on. I have more science to unlock here. I'm just literally clicking on everything. Oh, delicacies. Oh, that's the mill in the bakery? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't want another crop. Another food to manage. Avowed is the name, and it's set in the pa Path of Exile world. Really? Oh, uh, I hope it's... My one issue with Path of Exile is it's so violent. It's so violent. Not Path of Exile, sorry. I was talking... Wait. Oh, Pillars of Eternity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the Path of Exile world kind of sucks. <laughs> Seems like not a fun place, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm uh, starting to run low on stuff here, aren't I? Alright, give me a second. This is potentially bad, but I need to upgrade this eventually. So let's just rip off. Let's just rip off the bandage. Wait, does this still work? Wait, are they not punishing me? Oh my god, can I upgrade these? Oh, no, 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 the buildings don't have power. Okay, I see, I see, okay. Your command. All cleaned up. All right, I don't know if I have anything else to scout. And as such, I think I can send my scout home to become another building. I'm wrong. Can't do that. Nope, that's the water. All right, everything is now scouted. Nice. All right, head on home. 
My pleasure. If you have all the RP you need, you can dump the scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have so much science. I have so much science. Unless you need a scientist for a special mission, I think I'm just going to turn them into a building. So I have three, four, three, four. Um, so if I turn, if I turn Joe Kim into a building, then I can do another set of four. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Joe Kim's getting retired. Thank you for all your hard work, Joe. So where are you headed? You're, you're headed to a heart. So this one needs to find a shield. There we go. Shield time. Okay, some more metal. Uh, those med kits are probably not worth. Ah, eh, whatever. Worth. Check. We're giving them a retirement package, chat. They're not dying. They're 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 going to a better place. <laughs> yeah. Uh Yeah, let me make another four. Let's try and speed this up as much as we can. Trade convoys arrived. Awesome. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's just buy them outright. Buy more components. Sell our garbage. Ah, uh, still funny. What would you like? One, two, three, which means I can buy all of your rare metal. I'll take your antibiotics too, why not? Good stuff. All right. More commerce, chat. More commerce. Someone is at the gate. They look like a scientist. It's TQ. TQ is here. Oh man. Uh we're about to have a rad storm, right? So let's uh let's trade some nuts and bolts for some rad pills. Oh, it's winter. Never mind. I mean, winter's still handy, but yeah. We've made a new discovery. All right. Hold on. Do I have good heat coverage everywhere here? Well, I guess it's about time to find out, isn't it? Oh, I don't have a heater here. Let's fix that. Ooh, industrial rat radiator. How big? I mean, that's pretty big. Don't think I actually need that, though. I think I can just use a little baby radiator. start buying all the medicine on offer? I mean, I kind of have. I have so much medicine. But yeah, I mean, I've got, I guess I have all the money. There's no reason not to. I just have to store it. Right? Alright, let's get more of these going. That's the transformer. Uh, the radiator means I need a second one of these. Ah, uh, let me just upgrade it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I can afford that. Ish. Should probably make a second hospital as well. If we get another really bad... Another really bad, um... Thing. And it fits here almost perfectly, right? A 
Oh, wait. Are we doing for heat radius here? The transformer. There's the radiator. Kind of a, a low heat spot there, but we'll we'll upgrade later. Might be one off from water access. That's fine. We can upgrade stuff. Do I have the Pathfinder decorative statue? No idea. These are all my decorations, so I don't think I do. Right, I still haven't made the game arcade. I think that's what I wanted to put here, right? This is going to be the game arcade? Or I guess I could put the arcade... No, yeah, game arcade there. Does the hopsital fit here? Ooh! Like a glove! Alright, new plan. New plan. What's happening here? People are ready for things? I don't even know. Is it you? Are you ready? No. Really? Oh, I guess it's nighttime. Is that why I'm in the negatives? We'll build another one there later. Oh, man. What? <sighs> I think it was a movie called The Postman starring Kevin Costner. Which was uh, w which was also set in like a dystopian America. And wasn't there like a kid named Ford Lincoln Mercury? Because when they were bored, their mom looked up and that was... There was like a, an old dealership there. Am I remembering that right at all? That was a silly, fun movie. Yeah. Anyways, I saw a person in our village named Brooklyn. And I kind of wish our names were more, like, post-apocalyptic. Just, like, weirder in some way. We have bandits at the gate. Oh. People are coming to attack us. Hi. A group of bandits have oh, it was a billboard and he named himself? That's what happened. Right, 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 right. Uh, whatever. Come fight me, bandits. I really don't care. You can't beat my... You wanted to drive someday? Oh, man. Right? Like... I don't know. What do you... What do you think about... Wanting more interesting names in this world? Okay. We have a trade that's going to come in pretty quick. Good, good, good. Even in the apocalypse, there's still going to be James Turner's everywhere. I hope not. Maybe it's a chance for something new and interesting. Guarantee the names list is modelable and somebody's working on it. Yeah, that's fair. Our trade convoy has arrived. Good. What can we send out for now? We don't need sheet metal anymore. We don't need fun boxes. So, I mean, I guess I could just buy medicine. No, no, no. What we're going to do is we're still going to focus on those, these key resources. And if they have pills, we'll also buy them. Brooklyn is a fairly common, common name. Wait, it's a normal name, but it's not common. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Brooklyn is a normal name. That's why I wish there were cooler names. Not that Brooklyn isn't a cool name. Don't get me wrong. Not trying to dunk on anybody here. Just saying, what if? Ripper, Master Blaster, <laughs> sure. Let's just go straight Mad Max, right? Am I all up on negatives here? I guess. Yeah, I guess we didn't have enough power to sustain... All of our heaters when they went on. I thought we were in I thought we were in the positive, but we most certainly were not. So yeah, let's uh let's ask real nicely for a, another large wind turbine to get constructed here. Let's say build this one first. Slab bulkhead. 
<laughs> Last hard cheese. <laughs> All right, those are pretty great names. Those are pretty great names. I like the way you think. Blast hard cheese is very funny. Thud meat cake. Oh, yes, chat. Yes. Now we're talking. Now we're world building. Perfect. Oh, the friendliest. Earn 5,000 reputation. Cool. An entire colony, the first name is an adjective, and the second is a food product. Whoa, 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 let's not say anything we can't take back. Gross craft dinner? How dare you? A specialist is in danger and near death. Where? Boomst. What's happening here? Who almost died? Everyone's totally safe. All right, hold on. Uh, this was our heart one, right? Yeah, because we have four and four. Okay, so give me a heart outpost. Can do. You make me a shield outpost. Outpost is now complete. You got it. Outpost is now complete. All right, so we're gonna do this another four times. Ufa. A book of Dutch baby names would work. They kind of look like English, but they're just foreign enough to look weird. Yeah, but we don't want to make fun of the Dutch. We're not here to make enemies. Especially of the Dutch. 2.75 every 24 hours. So... Somebody do some math. I can't be... I can't do math right now. My brain is too full. How long is it going to take for this to be finished? Oh my god, why am I at minus 104? Oh, jeez. Well, that's bad. There are survivors at the gate. That's fine. Hello, welcome. I need you to generate power for me. A ragged bunch shuffles. Hey, they come. They have berries. Get on in here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's fine. I have, uh... Oh, no! My battery storage is nowhere near enough. Oh, man. I'm such a fool. Why am I like this? Why did I turn everything into power? It's fine. We'll get to... We'll get to day and... And it'll get better. Does anybody sell power stuff? No, you sure don't. Okay. Okay. My firewood keeping up? Nope. What's wrong with my firewood production? Take it two of you are not enough? We've made a new discovery. Have we? Alright, being out of firewood stocks also kind of freaks me out. They don't have enough wood? I feel... Oh, man. I feel like this is another one of those games where there is this invisible mechanic that happens of people who carry stuff around for you. And, like, my buildings aren't producing anything because they're not being delivered goods, right? So, like, why isn't there a stockpile? Why... Why is this... Why is this building not working? You know what I mean? Currently, nobody has anything that I want to purchase. Let's just check a little bit deeper, just in case. It's like Dwarf Fortress and Haulers. Alright, uh, minus 56. Oh, I'm out of power. 
I'm literally out of power. Oh, you're gonna die. Are you? No, you're fine. Are you fine? No, you're not fine. Uh, one medicine to go. Cancel mission. Aborting mission. Get home. You got it. Yep. Actually, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Let's uh, let's pause a bunch of these so that we do have power. So where's my plastic extractor? Let's pause that. Don't need plastic right now. There we go. Now we're now we're positive. Actually, if I pause this, It means I can also pause this, right? Just do some rolling brownouts here, eh, chat? Stop it. All right, now we're back to positive. Okay, nobody will freeze to death. You have the same same problem the game Banished had. If your workers don't live like right next to their work, they're spending most of the time walking between home and work. Yeah, it's like I kind of get it, but I wish I wish if a game did something like this, the buildings would also have an internal storage capacity, right? Like I don't know. I feel that this is a clunky thing that I've encountered a lot. Wait, what is this? Pandemics come and go. No! Access to medicine Sorry, some plot time luxury. here. But now, a new and more serious illness has appeared at the outposts. The engineers who visited the battlefield have started noticing boils on their skin. The infection has spread through most of the engineer outposts. Oh, good. A few of the engineers have fallen severely ill. They run high fevers and have started to bleed blood that is almost black. Oh, good. The rest are starting to show similar symptoms. Luckily, that is at least so far isolated to the engineer and outpost. The colony appears to be safe, but the operation to gather knowledge is currently halted? If you're going to throw a roadbox at something that's already an unbelievably slow progress... It's sorry. Like, either let this be slow and never stop, or let it be fast and give me roadblocks. Don't do both. I have to investigate the disease. Oh my god. The recent quest failed. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Congrats, you have the plague. All right, give me some firewood here. Yeah, I um I just wish a lot of these logistics games didn't have sort of that same problem. Which is just like, the game wants you to scale stuff up, but at no point tells you that logistics is important with how it, how it carries around. And then everything just breaks at a certain point. I don't know. I think that I've played enough of this genre that I'm not terrible at it. And I stumble in the same spot, but I don't know. Maybe it's a me problem. Maybe it is just a me problem. 
maybe that's just a personal dislike and it's actually like a very a very thoughtful mechanic in this particular genre i should just learn to love it got any pollution to sell i don't have any pollution to sell that means i need to be producing more pollution A new friend. Wait, there's literally no reason in taking them. Ah, whatever. Sure there is. So, like, there's... A slog or a trudge or whatever is fine. It's just, like, if, you're, if your game is going to make literal actual logistics, right? Like, literal actual supply chain order matter, then make that very obvious and make it intuitive to the player in such a way that they can they can easily solve those problems themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I am fine to do that if I know that I'm going to do that. But don't hide that mechanic underneath a bunch of other stuff and then suddenly have it that, for example, my people are going to starve to death even though there's food. Or my buildings, my buildings don't function at peak efficiency because at no point has it told me that I need to have, like, a proper supply chain. Yeah, the game should tell me what the mechanic is. Tell versus guess? Yeah. And it's not bad in this game. It's just noticeable enough <laughs> to upset me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave my power running at a positive now just to recharge my batteries. Maybe I can turn one on just so I can finish that? Yeah, let's turn one of these back on. Efficiency measured as a stat or like... I don't know. Something? That's not a good word. Sorry, who is ready for whatever? It said a specialist was ready for yep. something. Oh, the Jowler! All right. What do we have here? Investigate the disease. The hospitals in the wastelands were all abandoned in the years following the apocalypse, leaving them in a state of decay. No one has bothered to loot the books from their shelves. Browsing them reveals the bleak nature of the situation. No one has taken the medical books? Unlikely, but sure. The symptoms match that of anthrax, a bacteria that lives in soil for decades. This must be a highly weaponized version of the bacteria. It's likely the contagion happened on an old battlefield where there were biological weapons. Luckily, strong antibiotics can be used to treat the infection and disposing of contaminated equipment and food can prevent further spreading. It's a tough decision. Yeah, of course we share it. I don't need I don't need science. For humanity to have even a sliver of hope to survive, people need to work together. Everyone for themselves is what tore the world apart last time. Repeating the mistake now would be foolish. Information on the disease, its origin, and its cure are shared with every society. The show of good faith is rewarded. As one of the societies mentions the existence of a vaccine. But before they can manufacture it, they need a more recent sample of the bacteria. Okay. I deliver the sample. Wait, hold on. To whomst? What, what whomstest am I delivering the sample to? Do I have somebody on their way here already? It looks like I do. What is this UI telling me to do? What what is what is here? There are three quest markers. One is randomly up here. Who is going there? Hold on. You are going to that quest marker. Okay, wait, no. You are going to. I have no idea what the UI is trying to tell me to do right now, chat. I I don't understand. Colonist has an idea. 
One colonist has found what looks like an old lawnmower engine. Sure. Hey. The tool ship explodes. We got screws out of that. All right. Well, we got... We traded two screws and 18 fuel for 150 signs. The UI says go left. Right? Like... Where am I taking this? Follow this arrow. This arrow tells me to go here. Oh, you didn't start your race? That's so sad. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game. Let's give it a little restart here because I think... I think it, I think it maybe is a little confused. <laughs> Good luck there, small game. Good luck. Maybe this will get rid of the 13 irradiated uh, colonists we have as well, right? Half of these crabs are delicious. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nurge. Main questline has a couple bugs too. All right. Good to know. So it goes. So it goes. Everything we once knew is gone. Anyways, in conclusion, if your game wants me to carry things around, give me the tools to make it as efficient as possible, like conveyor belts, and I will do that, right? I love me some logistics games. Just don't make it a survival game with that hidden under the hood and not tell me. Okay. Deliver the tomorrow Humanity sample. To All right. There's one quest. There's one singular yep. quest. All right. Yep. Who's closest here? That's no, three turns. Five turns. What's up? Four turns. Okay. You head home. Roger. What's up? Your five turns. You head home. Okay. Yes. Jose is gonna get there in three yes, turns. We'll can. deliver the sample. Good. All right. The new trade deal is available. Great. What do we got? Um, we got more metal. Okay. I can get eggs for buffalo worms? Huh. All right, then. Uh, say no to corn. Have I checked out Atoma Chef, Big Pharma, or Infinite Factory for logistics or assembly games? No, I haven't really played one since we finished our, uh, since Fuji and I finished our, oh geez, why are you on fire? All right, we were repairing there. Our satisfactory playthrough. How are we doing here? We're getting there. Our medics sure know what they're doing. Awesome, thank you. So yeah, once we once we recover our economy a little bit better here, and you know make it through the winter, uh, second hospitals in order, and then we also want the. Where are we getting infected from, by the way? Yeah, second hospital, just because our population is getting big enough that this might be, we might need it. Yeah, this infection is going up, which is bad. Sheds on fire because the lawnmower experiment. Oh, good. Right, what's this? Oh, our scout is home. Great. Uh, you're going to be turned into a another engineer. So hold on, where is this one going? This one is going for heart. Okay, you go for leaf then. We'll have five everywhere once we're done our quest. Ready. Uh, 
Oh, is the freeze over? No, still cold. Yeah, there we go. We made it. All right, so now, now we can turn everything back on. And now we know that in the winter time, we have a significantly higher power demand than we otherwise thought. So I want like an excess power grid of like two hundo here, which is absurd, but I can do it. I can do it. All right. Are you ready to complete that quest yet? No, not yet. Whoa! Wait, did that just take out all my trees? <sighs> nope. Alright. Alright, you're home. You're just chilling. You're gonna have to chill until we get the quest done. Everything else is paused. Ah... Uh... Wonder if there's thermal energy? Not yet, but I did see something that looked like a thermal vent around here. Which makes me hopeful that maybe in the future they'll add that, because that sounds super cool, right? Hey, there we go. One large wind turbine is done. Awesome. Awesome. There. Nice. Yep. All right, quest. As the vaccine is administered in societies, the threat posed by old bioweapons becomes less severe. The unselfishness shown by the colony has sparked a new kind of hope across the wasteland. Many have regained faith but eventually, people can unite and face... Hey! Good, 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 good. Earning trust is a huge step to make everyone work together. Definitely a way to get other kinds of attention as well. What does that mean? Cool. Keep gathering knowledge. All right. As so, the vaccine is administered... Yeah, I got that. I got that. So go to the bunker construction site. Okay. Are we, are we back in business? All right, we are. Amazing. So you're here. Give me more heart. Actually, I should have started at shield because we're running low on shield, but so it goes. Outpost is now complete. All right, my whole fight team is home. Actually, no, they're not. Uh, but these two can go out and fight. Uh -huh. Yes. So where's the next area we want to clear? Right here. Got it. All right. Sorry, can't do that. What's up? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes? This is the bug, and I was mentioning the UI tells you to go to the bunker, but really you just need to keep gathering knowledge. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. Uh pollution depleted. Still getting some there? Yeah, good. Trade convoy has arrived. We'll wait for other better tools. Alrighty. This confused you for like a solid hour? Yeah, alright. Thank you for the heads up. Okay. I'm just gonna play in super fast mode now and see what we can uh, see what we can get done. I wonder how long a 24-hour period is now. Wait, how am I doing for housing? 37 left. All right, let's replace one. There are survivors at the gate. Well, we're about to get more people. Good. Come on in. Come on in. What do we got? We got gasoline. Wow, there's a lot of people. 
Seven new friends. Welcome. This game is great and profoundly frustrating. I think the only reason this game is frustrating is because it's so good. Right? It's so good. You want it to be better. You're like, ah, you're so close. Why can't you just nail it? Stick the landing, right? We're really going to screw ourselves over. It turns out we needed to keep all this pollution. Oh, man. How funny would that be? All right. Um, I wanted to build leaf here, right? Check. I really should have started with the other two. So give me. Our Whatever. Post is now complete. Anyone selling uh, electronic components? Hello? Hiding them behind anything? I like that the trades refresh fairly consistently. Metal extractor contaminated. By what? Don't I have a repair building up here? Oh, I totally don't. That's the problem. All right, let's make another one of those. Little maintenance shop here. Did another trade convoy just arrive? And there's nothing to trade for. That's fine. Keep chilling. Chilling and waiting. I don't even own resources here anyways. We've got, uh, oh, still 4,000. Wow, we're halfway through that, though. That's wild. Four children were born. All right, I think we're, I think we're back in the baby boom here. All right, I don't have a single trade convoy out right now because nobody has anything of worth. Oh, I can get some screws. All right, never mind. Never mind. I talked some smack there, and I apologize. You can have my garbage. It's a lot of carrots. It's a lot of venison. It's a lot of fish. Alright, they're not ready to fight yet. Once once that person's also idle, then we continue to clear the map. What's up, Orzo? Good to see you. Hey, look at this! We almost got all these large generators done. A colonist is under the weather. A colonist see a doctor. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not feeling well. Eat. You're working today? Hey, right on, friend. You go get paid. Have a great day, friend. There we go. All right, first off, uh, we have a new person here. And they are going to go and become a shield. So I just have to find a shield province. There we go. Now, fight time. Attacking. Yep. Attacking. Huh? Hey, chicken pot pie. Thank you, my love. All right. Today, since we're basically just doing a lot of waiting in the game, too, I'm not going to take a full break for lunch. I'm just going to eat lunch while we uh, <laughs> we wait for the game. While we wait for the game to do game stuff, right? There's a new quest of Wait, hold on. The Doomsday broadcast? No, I don't care. Doomsday. Quest failed. All right, let's go get some more resources here. And ideally, what I'm going to be looking for is like rare metal and stuff, right? Oh, that's good. Actually, we can bring back 67 components. Right. Heck yeah. 
Thank you, Jojo. Styles defeated. Amazing. Good job, team. My pleasure. Your orders. All right. Uh huh. Go. You know. Oh, there we go. There's some more rare metal right there as well. Hmm. Maybe we grab it after. Grab some medical supplies too. I think we're fine. All right, one more giant battery. And then after this, we'll do our second hospital. Then after the second hospital, actually, I may as well just queue them both up right now, right? Like, there's no reason not to. So we have our second hospital, which is slated to go right here, I believe. Nope, 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 nope. It was going to go here. And then the moving picture thing was going to go there. And I think this needs water as well. Maybe? I don't know. I think I put a large water tower here. Pollution depleted. Alright. Let's keep hunting down more pollution. Yep. Attacking. Yes. Engaging hot. Reporting in. Get him. Several construction zones are lacking resources. You'll get there. You'll get there. Don't you worry. I believe in you. I believe in you, game. Has it been explained why pollution has value? In universe, no. Out of universe, apparently it was a bug and the community liked it, so they left it in. Which I think is hilarious. Hey, trade convoy's back. All right. I can probably stop buying screws at this point. And start buying... Uh... Uh... <laughs> what do we even buy? Basically just components. Makes you think of nuclear Gandhi. Yeah, that's fair. Colin has found a mysterious wagon. Something unusual has been found in the forest. Oh, this time we're arming the colonists with tools. We got nothing and two people are injured. All right, good talk. Good talk. Good talk, colonists. You made me proud. You didn't see it, but I dropped my napkin and I just like snatched it out of the air. Now, if I was really smooth, I wouldn't have dropped it in the first place, but that's a pretty close second. Like that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I, I don't need this. What am I doing? I don't, I don't know. Just wait. We got this. Ooh, the hostiles have been defeated. And my team is still looking pretty healthy. So I think that means one more fight. On it. Uh -huh. You got it. All right. Check. What's 170? I still don't think it's enough. I think I need to go just a little bit further here with this. So what if I made, I don't know, two more? I'd have to cover the metal there. That's maybe fine. Four more. I don't think it's enough. Make more, right? I want to make Fuji proud. 
build more food storage. Really? I got 4,000 food. Holy crap. Uh, hey, what's up, Lirazel? All right, I feel like I just need to trade more even just to deal with food. Food is not at equilibrium. I have a, an excess of food. What should we cut back on? Maybe some more venison? Lay off a couple more of our uh, our meat gatherers. Like, I made all these fishing huts so that I could uh, sell it. But now I don't have anything I need to buy, right? Ow! This is for shield. Okay. Outpost is now complete. All right, just need one more outpost. Have I thought of some kind of giant umbrella? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. But I also don't understand how I'm supposed to move all of these people into this small spot. But, you know, so it goes. We'll get there. Hostiles defeated. You know what? You look pretty healthy still. We won the battle. We could probably push for one more fight here. Yeah. All right. Let's just make sure we all show up at the same time. And we can take this fight too. Yes. Can do. Somebody was saying something about basements. That's fair. Stream says, is this the end game? I don't even know, Laundry. We're chilling. We're waiting. I mean, I guess this is the end game. You know, we're almost completely self-sufficient. Well, maybe, maybe that's an exaggeration. Chilling. We're partying like a rock star. We're in a post-scarcity in, in the sense of uh, we're never going to go hungry. We're never going to run out of medicine. Like, whatever. Speaking of medicine, let's just take this and sell some fish. Sell some more fish. Sell like 400 carrots. Too many carrots. Oh, never mind. Sell our garbage. There we go. Yeah, we haven't even touched our weapons yet. <laughs> you okay, doing? <laughs> you okay, sweetie? You've barely touched your weapons. Right? <laughs> like, uh. Fine, I'll make three more food storages back here. Jeez. I should make a, um, a faster way through here, though. There you go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're at 50% of the way on one of them. We have bandits at the gate. Bandits? I mean, goodbye. An unusually aggressive. We win! I hope the bandits don't get stronger. We can't really upgrade our gate any further, right? 
All right, create another engineer. So this time we need, need to find wind. Three turns, nice. Your command. Y'all are ready? Okay, let's lead with um, you, because you're the healthiest. Yep. And then maybe they punch you first? I actually Attacking have no idea target. how that works. Someday we'll start making components. Someday. Anyone selling any yet? Hello? Please? I beg of you? All right. So I'm trying to get a little bit closer to food equilibrium, and then I'm realizing that it d that doesn't even count. Like, it could generally be trending downwards. And as soon as we harvest from a crop, it just like explodes, right? So I don't, I don't know what to do. We, won the we just have so much of everything. Huh? All right, you grab this. Who's the healthiest? You. Not gonna work. Wait, what? Oh, you the healthiest. You're the weakest. So you grab this. You grab this. We're all going to grab a little bit of loot to take back, right? More food, more problems, I guess? Do you think more food attracts more bandits? Or do you think by this point they've heard of our fearsome reputation? Our never-been-defeated policy at the front gate? And they'll like have a meeting and be like, You know what? Maybe we shouldn't attack Surge anymore. We just keep end up dying, right? It's not worth it just to throw away my shot like that. Okay, once all this power is done, let's make another battery just in case. Once all of this power is done, Then we make the movie theater or the arcade or whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even researching anything right now. Holy moly. All right. Is food done? Nope. I can do that. Let's research that. And then uh, to the next tree. There we go. Are we attacking Surge? They don't, we don't even get any loot when we beat them. Which is also unfortunate. Bandits are only a drain on us, even when we win. The trade convoy just arrived. All right, what do we got? Show me components. Hey! Please give me all of your components and all of your medicine. I will give you literal actual garbage. Wait, am I out of garbage? I'm out of garbage. Um, more food. Anyone else have components? Hello? No, all right. Maybe, maybe. You? Oh, all right. Paradox games have a tendency to be super fun at the start and then way too long for the end game. Yeah, it's it's tough, right? Because like maybe it's got a super cool payoff. Oh crap! Nuclear fallout. Uh. All right. Well, let's harvest all these crops. Some people might die now, chat. Just gonna be honest with you, some people might die. And yeah. Can do. 
I guess that's just what it is. All right, you got more of those batteries. I'm pretty stoked on that. Let's get more rad pills, and then let's go to the trade window here, and let's trade with literally anyone. In games, games like this can be tedious. When you get so P attacking groups, stand no chance. Yeah, it's like we're at the point right now that we've negated, we've negated a lot of things that this game was asking us to do. We've negated food. We've negated scarcity. We've basically made combat and exploration not really mean anything too. And unfortunately, the goalposts aren't balanced such that there's oh geez uh whatever i guess take that many carrots wait why isn't this um why can't i confirm oh they have that's more money than they have access to yeah there's nothing else to keep us entertained while we work towards that goal so it, it feels like the one thing that we want to achieve is out of reach um, and everything else, you know, all the little things that they're bringing up to, to try and keep us interested are, are, are more annoyances than actual things. I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly critical. I need all your, I need all your rad pills. My people, they're going to get so radioactive. So at least for um, Satisfactory, when they had those ridiculous goals at the end, that, I don't know, that wasn't the definition of done, if that makes sense. Someone's team bonus is targeted for average playtime? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And again, I'm pretty high on this game. I am only... I'm only donking on it because I want it to be better. <laughs> more pollution. Oh, we might have almost got rid of all the pollution on the map too. No, we definitely have more to do. We definitely have more to there do. Are survivors at the gate. Did I ever work in a team where the devs were targeted on bugs fixed? No. No, because I always worked for startups. Shuffle slowly towards Tutor. Uh, canned fruit hunting rifle candy bars. I accept. So I have an important question, friends. Um, do I keep scaling these up? I think I do. I think I do just because I want it to be over as quickly as possible. Let's just keep going here. No, like... I think that only really works on existing legacy products where you want to uh we have a backlog. Typically when you have a new product, hopefully you're not you're not thinking that same way. Alright, let's get you home with all your stuff. It just doesn't work as well when you're building new features instead of trying to fix existing ones, right? And also, if your team's like three developers, right? <clears throat> that doesn't make sense either. First incentive means all the meaning this one gets fixed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal extractor contaminated. How? I have a. Oh, it's not lined up. I understand. We've made a new discovery. Thanks, uh. All right, are we done in this tree now? I think we are. We're going through this tree next. Just clicking on everything. I think Stellaris does some really interesting stuff in how it switches up like the early and late game and stuff like that to keep you interested. I mean, I think the mid-game crisis is a fascinating way to sort of break the uh, the mold of, in a 4X in particular, the game already being over well before the game ends. Yeah, I think that's a slightly different problem than what we're encountering here. There's a new quest available. A rumor. Quest failed. The Great Con can be so much fun. Yeah, exactly, right? 
Yeah, like the mid game crisis, the end game crisis, just ways to sort of shake it up, keep things interesting for you. Construct an engineer depot. Oh right, literally what I'm working on. Snurge barbecuing. Very good. Oh wow, that is a lot of irradiated people. What is this? Survive 15 catastrophes. Cool. All right, let's see how many people we can cure. We made a second hospital specifically for this. And we have a ton of rad pills, so I'm hoping we have no deaths. Speaking of no deaths, I don't know if you're going to make it out of here at your current rate. Have I ever had the L gates opened on me? Uh, I competed with L gates once and I had the gray swarm come out, come out and just like murder my face, which is a pretty good time. Uh, let's just get you home. You're going to die. Aborting mission. Going. Let's see if we can make it through this with zero deaths. That'd be really cool. We've made a new discovery. Trade convoy arrived. Great. What do we got? Nothing new. Don't. Yeah, another fun thing for four X's. I mean, more so with Stellaris than uh, Civ, is figuring out when you're done your playthrough, and that doesn't necessarily have to be when it shows when it rolls the end credits, right? Aquatics has been fun. I want to check out Aquatics. We might we might do maybe just to start. We talked about this on stream the other day. How not only I guess is 4x is more interesting for people when they first start playing. Uh, it feels like they're more interesting for people when they first start watching as well. Because like viewership for a brand new Stellaris campaign, when we come up with the concept and everything seems to be pretty great, and then it uh, drops off pretty fast. Another trade convoy arrived. Okay, what do we got now? Buy more rad pills. That is not rad pills. There we go. And in trade for the rad pills, have some radiation. Maybe that's how they're making them. Start a new Stellaris every day. Yeah. Well, it's like when... Uh, when Cam and I did a, just like we collaborated and we played some online Stellaris together on stream, people were super down for it, but nobody was like, you didn't finish it, right? The 13 colonist error has been fixed. Well, I restarted the game. That's how I got rid of that. Look at this. We cured everybody and nobody died. So pleased. I'm so pleased. Most people don't want to watch the grind. Yeah, it's neat because like there's definitely streamers out there who can make the grind really interesting. And I, I wonder if the problem is that I show I show the grind getting to me, which isn't great. TQ is in our base. In the woods. It's some kind of miracle plant. Find out if it's edible. Somebody is infected. <laughs> Signs point to no. Mysterious plant, not food. More news at five. A specialist is near death. Well, that seems like a terrible idea. All right, you're on your way to... What are you on your way to? You're on your way to shield. Okay, five. You should be on your way to win, then. Yeah, like, I watched Admiral Baru play Terraria and just, like, drain an ocean. That has nothing to do, right? Wait, is everything on fire? No, good. 
You have a certain amount of disdain for it at this point, and it honestly does bring down the vibe a little bit on a channel normally full of positivity. I can tell you want it to be over and you're trying to rush through it. Yeah, that's fair. It's tough, because like, I, I want to see the end. I'm really invested in getting to the end. And that's the part, that's the part that intrigues me, is I want it to be... I don't want it to be done because I'm not having fun. I want it to be done because I want to know what happens. That's, uh, that's the part. I don't have to feel... I'm not faking it. I, I want to beat it. When I watch streamers play a grinding game, when they get near the end, they stop micromanaging. They stop microing and just go whatever my economy is robust enough and I can just click on the button. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of where we're at right now. The issue I'm worried about is that my... um. Is there actually any problem if my food surpluses and then we waste some? I don't think we are. The alternative to not bringing it down is just faking it. Or maybe there's people who actually just like low key, low key, just like, like the grind. Moving. Or actually, realistically, realistically, here's the real talk. What I think is happening, what I think is happening for those streamers who are like super down for the grind is they're like, it's content, right? And they've, they've managed to, obviously you have a good time playing video games if you're a streamer, but like if you're just happy to have the hours of content and you're entertaining and you're just down to vibe and you're just down to chill with your community, then it doesn't matter. And I wonder about that. Like, I saw somebody play uh, a Bloons map. Uh, Bloons is a tower defense game where you shoot bubbles or you shoot balloons, pardon me, hence Bloons. And yeah, they just, they just vibed. They, they did one map. It went forever. It was ridiculous. It was so funny. But they, uh, yeah, it didn't bug them at all. They're like, what is the illogical conclusion of a forever map right now, right? Hey, there we go. We got more components. Got there. Similar to James doing the punch a chunk? Yeah. What what's happening is not inherently interesting. It's just about vibing and having a good time with James while he's doing it. Totally. All right, new new plan. How do we make me even more positive? <laughs> right? There's the question. Somehow. Oh man, car battery. Yep, yep. I think that works. You get an overflow error? I guess so. We've made a new discovery. Okay. Biofuels getting done. Let's queue that up after. That's right, Snurge. It's just like the death. Nobody snitches. Dang. Yo, Snurge is, uh, I think, threatening some people right now. That's not cool. Specialist is ready. What's happening? What do you need? Oh, you're home. And what you got? You've got shield. Okay. Of course. Outpost is now complete. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this just this just runs itself now, right? Oh. I saw the guards by the gate and I was like, is something going down? You think in the macro map feels a little bit like a, uh, a mobile game? That's fair. Put together your crew. Oh, rude. Oh my God, are we close? Hold on. Hold on. We might be hunting for the very last couple bits of uh, of radiation on the map. All right, there's one. Uh, 
amazing. Alright, we need an... Uh, ugh, almost died. <laughs> uh, we need another maintenance depot here. I'll keep these friends happy. You don't feel I'm being negative? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. If pollution is one of our major exports, yeah, it's pollution and carrots. Oh, it looks like I may have finally... Nope, never mind. We have a thousand crops waiting to be harvested. I was going to say, I think we're starting to get a little bit closer to like an equilibrium with everything. Oh, I need more houses. Cool. Uh... All right, here's our goal. Literally everything becomes a, a nice house now. While we wait, right? So I want to make sure people aren't homeless while we're doing the upgrade. I will be a little bit sad when we can't export pollution anymore. Quest failed. Welcome, Avery. Look at that little face, yeah. Ooh. All right, more rare metals to buy, please. Don't mind if I do, I'll take all your medicine as well. Have some fish. Good, good, good. Making some good money now. I guess at the end of the day, there is one thing that gamers love, and it's number go up, right? Gamers love number go up. Looks like there's a plot point. No, that's that's not another plot point. That's apparently a bug, Nevermore. So what we need to do, this plot point is number go up. That's it. That's right. Gamers love number go up and free two-day shipping. Yes, thank you, Uno. They also love free two-day shipping. Can't believe I almost missed that one. Alright. Uh, those aren't quite done yet, but soon. You thought gamers loved waiting? Do they? All right, quick show of hands. Do gamers love waiting, yes or no? Waiting for what, I guess, is the question. I thought gamers are very impatient. No? Waiting for Godot? I don't think that's a gamer reference, though. I don't, I don't, <laughs> if I had to describe a Venn diagram of uh, gamers and literary references, I, I don't know how much overlap there'd be. I will wait to respond. Boo! Waiting, no, waiting for number go up. Absolutely. All right, fair, fair. Waiting for Half-Life 3 is now more fun than waiting than the actual game. All right, that's just hilarious, though. Should have added a forehead to that comment. Oh, I, I don't know. Look, I trust that you're just being earnest, right? Why wouldn't you be? Oh, that's why my fiber is going up. Okay. Uh, no more sheep. No more sheep. Not yet acquired? What? What do you mean not yet acquired? You got it. Outpost is now complete. Idle games are pretty popular. That's true. That is true. Uh, I need to buy a cow. That's a pig. Wait, let's just buy a pig. <gasps> More components. Never mind. Hold on. They have cows. All right. Buying all your cows. Buying all your components. Do you have anything else I care about? I can just buy a car. No, that's irresponsible. Have my pollution. Have all these hunting rifles. Have this sturdy clothing. 
so I can craft more. I have to make room. Oh my god. And take these guns. That's too many guns. That was the perfect amount of guns. So what we're having, what the problem we're having here is we have a thousand fiber. And I'm no longer, um, I'm no longer making clothing. So I don't have a fiber dump. Hey, TQ's back. Hi, TQ. Functional car is parked by the gate. Oh, I can sell you clothing for pills? Done. There you go. How are we doing here? Okay, I can delete three of these. I just enjoy that, you know, magical TQ lives in our universe. And just runs around trading people for magical pills, right? Uh, what do I need now? I need heart. Wait, what do you mean it's halted? What do you mean it's halted? Deserted areas are the ones that suffer the most from the impacts when they build two started. outposts in the desert oh, biome. Oh, that's frustrating. God, I have so many. Uh, yo, Jofina, I got bad news, Jofina. Um, oh, the good news, actually, Jofina. Jofina, your new job, you're getting a promotion, is. Um, wait, am I going to a desert? Wait, wait, wait. Said specifically desert biome. Uh, this is a wasteland biome. I need to find the correct biome. Can I even do this anymore? What if I've taken everything? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, well, we're chatting more. I got a big smile on my face. I feel as though... Oh, my God. Uh, time to build that arcade. I feel as though I've been revitalized by this conversation. And just hanging out and just vibing with everybody. So, thank you. Y'all are amazing. Okay, it's time to build the gaming arcade. And then our people will finally be happy, right? Oh, no. <laughs> uh Yeah, it's like, why does Larry keep buying all this pollution? He's just like, I love it. <laughs> I can't stop, won't stop. Uh... Don't think chat, it goes straight to their head. Nah, whatever, it's all good. Look, credit where credit do. I like chat. I like hanging out. I like this community. I like when you keep me company when we're doing stuff. That's half the fun, right? You know, it's, it's great to play games. It's even better to play games with friends. All right. Do we have enough power here? You know what? Let's, uh, just because we can. Let's build a lightning rod because I know I'm going to get hit by lightning at some point. Let's just protect our infrastructure. Survivors at the gate. Come on in. Come on in. The water's fine. Ooh, they brought fish and and medicine. They all have a cold. <clears throat> Wait, why are they attacking me? This is a terrible idea. All right. I mean, you you chose this path. Trade convoy has arrived. Now we're gonna do nothing except buy up medicine. Give me all of your medicine. Have three guns. Uh, 
<clears throat> oh, there we go. A little bit of happiness. We finished the game arcade. So, like, positive happiness is just, like, straight impossible, right? Wait, 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 wait. You don't have power? How is that possible? You know what? There's no downside to not having any power right now. Let's upgrade all of our transformers. We've made a new discovery. The convoy has returned. Buy more of these. You got pills too? Love to see it. Love to see it. Sell some of this. Good. Where's all my nuclear waste? I don't have any garbage to sell them? Oh, this is the worst day ever. Alright, how much can we make these numbers go up? Hey, what's up, Erica? Good to see you, friends. <laughs> Peter the Pollution Popper is going to be sad. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, we're, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ran out of radiation there. There's got to be more garbage somewhere. Hello? I didn't get the Chivo yet. I didn't get the Chivo, which means we're not done. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, everyone clap. We've got plenty of garbage left to sell. Oh, I was so worried. Wait, what do you mean prepare for battle? Doomsday comes. So, oh, jeez. Yes. They're in. They're in. I kind of wish yeah. I could, um, How may I help you? kind of wish I could upgrade this further. Because I feel as though, at this point, like, why don't I just make giant Tesla coils or something, right? Like, we should be able to engineer a solution to this particular problem. You know what I mean? Guard towers? Well, guard towers don't make the gate stronger. Guard towers only work once they get through, but it doesn't actually make this any stronger. Like, I'm... At the end of the day, I'm limited by my ability to make that. I don't know. Maybe there's a stronger gate. I just didn't see it. Maybe under protection, I can make more guards. Okay. What else do we have here? Uh, I really don't care about gun. You'd expect guard towers to have range. No, they can't help. I've got guard towers there. The guards only do something once they break through. Which is expensive. Well, I mean, I guess it, concrete doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, how are we doing toilet-wise, out of curiosity? I think that's a good sign it's about time for some more toilets. When literally every toilet is full. We've made a new discovery. Let's add six new toilets, chat. Six new toilets? Yeah. Can you have towers outside the gate? No. That's the that's the, the build boundary that you have access to in this game, right? Just like more people, more guns. 
I have this lightning tower, right? Like... Yeah, can't build outside the gate, fortunately. All right, there we go. More toilets. Empty all those toilets outside the gate. End problem. I love it. I love it. Can you station them outside? No, again, like the, the entirety of what you can do. Wait, hold on. Wait, I can stand them outside? Does that help? All right. No way. All right, let's find out. Let's find out. If I had to have these three here. Yep. Oh. Oh, hello. You have my attention. Oh, there we go. Specialists are ready. Okay. So your job. No, you're not there yet. Your job is to make a leaf, is that right? Six, six, five, yeah. On it. And then your job is to get to the next one. Okay, Have one more done. and then uh, we're good to go there. Only we didn't kill that mutated pet bear. I'm really sad we had to kill that bear. That bear was awesome. Bear deserved better. <laughs> hey, what's up, fish sore? How you doing, friend? Trade convoy has arrived. Three colonists are now adults. Zoe died of old age. Do we have a current quest we're working on? Yes. Our current quest is this car. This car needs to go here. Or else we can't go make any more progress. Alright, so we build this outpost. Scorching heat makes it hard to breathe in these barren areas. But the same knowledge can't be gathered anywhere else. The desert is covered in impact craters. Observing their shape and size reveals what kind of objects created them. The craters are too small to be made by comets, but they match well if the object was a mid-sized asteroid or similar shrapnel from the shattered moon. It appears the Earth actually was not hit by the largest of the objects. Hundreds of millions lost their lives during the first weeks after it all started. However, most of humankind perished in the following years not because of the catastrophes. They perished because people had no more empathy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's head back here. And now we click on this. New knowledge. The last obstacles have been removed and the work can continue. Hopefully everyone can last a little longer. It's been a long road to get here. The project has not only given hope to the people in the colony, but the people have made the colony their home. This is no longer just a col- You've said the word colony too many times. Just a colony of survivors, but a small town on the frontier. One can only hope that one day this will become the first city in the wasteland. All right, number go up. So we need more wind support because uh, it's lagging behind. So let's go ahead and get another person here. I'm just going to keep making engineering depots, chat. I've got what? I've got 24 so far. Can't stop, won't stop. Snow! Wait, 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 wait. We learned about this before. Uh... How is my heat? Our heat is plus 25. Okay. Let's make that radiator bigger and let's make this radiator bigger. And then just in case, just in case.
three more wind turbines. Right? Keep like four fighters around? Well, I've got three. All right, I'll get a fourth fighter. I'll keep the next person who shows up that isn't that is a fighter. I'll keep. Let's uh, let's turn this scout into another one. And yeah, they're gonna go to the Valley of the Wind. Three is probably fine. All right. Pollution depleted. All right, don't worry, I'm on it. There's plenty of pollution to go around. Don't you worry, chat. Buy my junk. Good. Good, good, good. Rare metals. I'll take all of those. Thank you very much. And right, how are we doing here? We're pretty good. All right, we're pretty good. So I need to do what? Winter's coming. My power is good. Is everything covered? For the most part, yeah, we've got power. But that's power coverage, no heat coverage. I think we're good. Winter is here. Make a couple new fancy houses. All right, everything is great. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore this. Quest failed. There's a visitor. Oh, it's the riddle lady. Circulated about a Hello. Old woman living in the forest. But have All right. Arrive at the gate is a surprise nonetheless. Everything here lives from me. I am bigger than the biggest. Yet every day I disappear. What am I? Well, I guess here is the sun. Anyone else have a compelling argument for why it would be not the sun? Yeah. She gives pills! Praise the sun, chat. That's right. Praise the sun. Wait, I'm supposed to harvest these before they all die. You want to see what happens if we answer wrong? I don't know. I don't know if I'm capable of being wrong. Make me too sad. <laughs> Thank you, magical pill witch is a great sentence. Little old lady turns into a werewolf, rips through the gate, destroys our concrete. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Seems like a very in-universe explanation or <laughs> response, yeah. All right, we hit 70%. We're getting there. Number go up, chat. Number go up. <clears throat> Layla, how dare you? People are cleaning that waste. That's rude. All right, how are we doing with these toilets here? Do we have more than enough now? Yeah, we have some that are empty. All right, good. That means we did it. I wonder if I should have opened more schools. Eh. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. There 
are survivors at the gate. Oh, good. More people. A ragged bunch. Shuffle slow. Oh, hey! Another fighter. Um, they're not very good. But you know what they can do? They can go be an engineer. I'm still proud of the fact that we've never turned away anyone who wanted to move in. That everyone is welcome. Feels good. Feels good. To give a thanks to thanks Joe University. Right, the 100% graduation rate for our engineering program is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, um, I want to find another shield one here. Because... Uh-oh. There we go. Because that's the lowest one right now. Yeah, go to our handy little school here. We guarantee you employment after you graduate. It's hard to find a better deal than that, right? Engineering Depot is done. What was that? Oh, right. That's what that is. Derp. <laughs> All right. Anybody got anything to trade? It's fine. It's fine. Back to health, back to work, says Chloe. Chloe, we like your attitude. We like your go get em positivity. Hundred percent graduation rate doesn't sound like engineering school to me. So it's funny we talk about this. Um before the Friday night paper fight on Friday, we were talking about how some places require some places in academia require a bell curve grading even if it doesn't make any sense occasionally screeching and twitching all right pull that scrap out wait no let's do this the safe way the image of someone's hand getting crushed in the machinery makes everyone's skin crawl the colonists offer to climb instead the machine is shut down and dismantled just enough to pull the scrap metal out the extractor will need some repairs but no one's arm was turned into minced meat hooray we did it yeah, Cameron was telling a story how in academia there was a an honors program where someone was trying to argue that you need to have a bell curve for the grading. And they're like, the only people in the honors program are already like only A students. Why would you insist that we fail <laughs> an equal number of people as we hand out A's? That's stupid. <laughs> so there's times like... Um, I've had bell curves work favorably for me before, where there was a test that they did where I think like the class average was 40% or something like that. And they're like, okay, what we did was we just took that lump of grades and shifted everyone up a little bit to the side. My experience, grading on the mana curve is only older done by old professors whose justification was it's the old way. Yeah, but that's like the same sort of people who work in kitchens and treat people like trash because they were treated like trash. It's super toxic. Like, somebody has to stop being toxic first, you know? You're like, that's a bad excuse. Everyone's getting a failing grade. This teacher that's failing, not the student. Yeah, well, that in the particular case of that one test, they acknowledge that they're like, nope, we missed the mark with this test. That's why we're going to readjust it. And I was like, ah, it's kind of cool. You know, I'll I'll take getting, uh, you know, a C instead of failing. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That's uh, that is a okay with me. Selling so insulin pollution is never not funny. I agree. I agree.
It's interesting that we have buildings like greenhouses that you can make because at no point will I ever need them. It feels like some of the um, the balance for particular things, like by the time that tech is handy, I've already stockpiled so much food I never need them. I don't know. Maybe if we do a maybe if we do a different. Uh, a different build order, they suddenly become really relevant. Oh, have a large feast. Everybody party. Yeah, free happiness. Let's go. You never had a bell curve grader? Engineering was just a hard program. Yo, fair enough. I went to school in the 90s. Almost every class was graded on a bell curve. And the reason was not every student is cut out for college. Wow. 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 <laughs> Holy crap, Hosk! Just imagine the teacher standing at the front of the class, like, looks around, is like, well, some of you, some of you <laughs> just have to flip burgers. You're like, pardon? I don't know. That's, that's so messed up. Bell curve grading is a very US thing. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm in Canada, and my story is, my experiences are Canadian. Maybe a North American thing. But yeah, fair enough. That sounds like law school even today. Oof. Uh, is law school just like deliberately failing people? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I get to make a thing here. Uh, go, go, Valley of the Wind. My pleasure. And you, go, go, Valley of the Shield. Roger. Outpost is now complete. Oh, this is a good fighter. All right. So we have a new fighter here. Their name is Jarote. No, Jorote. How may I help you? Wait, no, where'd all my fighters go? Get back out to the gate. Huh? Uh -huh. You're supposed to all stand right. outside in case bandits show up. Bandits. Stand outside in the snow. What are what am I paying you for? There. There. Back in 2015, one prof said that if they failed more than each grade level, they got in trouble. So they failed more than one in a hundred level? What? What? They just wanted to fail people? Oh my god. Uh, I have some complicated feelings for academia. I don't think it is right for everybody. And I think it is sold as if it is a one-stop shop for everybody. And that's tough sometimes. It's very tough. You force your fighters to stand outside. We never know when the bandits are coming. This is training. This is making sure that we're always alert and always... Get back to your post. Always, always alert and always ready. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Always... You're making me look bad. Always alert and always ready, my knights. Huh? Specialists don't need sleep. A rumor about a quest failed. Certain schools like law or engineering, they do bell curve because it's a competitive profession. We aren't going to dump a bunch of people in just because they did work. They have to be exceptional. Unfortunately, most of the time, they don't realize that it means the exceptional people from one year could be way worse than the average people another year. Yeah, right? Every doctor, or half of every doctor. Oh, and my joke sucks. Half of all doctors, there we go, finished in the bottom half of their class. Good joke, streamer. Great joke. <laughs> Wait, are my people actually happy? No way. That feast put in some work there. Hello? Please remove those houses so I can make better houses. Oh, did I hit upgrade? Oh, <laughs> I hit upgrade instead of destroy. There we go.
What am I doing now? Science, right. Yes, we are maxing out all of our science. So I think, yeah, that's another skill tree done. Uh, 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 sure. What do we got up here? Whatever. We'll finish gun just to say we did it. Oh, I was supposed to switch some of my sheep to cow. Right, you there. Become... Needs a ranch. Why can't I do cow? Why does it say not yet acquired? Oh, do I have to slaughter them all first? I butcher them. I make room for cow. Pretty sure I bought cows. Yeah, there we go. Cow. It gives us milk. Do I want milk? What did I even do with milk? I just end up selling it. No, I want pig. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I lied. There we go. Hello. Please give pig. Milk is overrated. I like milk and exactly... Oh, man. Actually, exactly is not the right thing. I like milk in mac and cheese. I like milk in... Um, in um, what's that? Chocolate ganache. I like milk in cappuccinos. What kind of future is this if you can't have milk and cornflakes? Mm, all right. I like cheese. That's true. Can't have cheese if you don't have milk. We've made a new discovery. I'm actually kind of mad on chocolate milk, if I'm honest. If I'm honest. I could take or leave chocolate milk. Yeah. Nacho cheese. Look, I like milk and I like chocolate. I just don't need I just don't need them together at last. You know what I mean? Hot chocolate's better than chocolate milk. You ever gone to one of those places that their hot chocolate is literally just heated up chocolate milk? And you're like, hey, wait a minute. That's not very cash money. want to destroy that. I wanted to upgrade it. Close. Sometimes close, you know, wanting to upgrade instead of destroy a thing, but here we are. The real good stuff is made with warm milk instead of water? Oh, you mean uh, hot chocolate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely on team um, hot chocolate should be dairy-based. Definitely on that team, yeah. There are survivors at the gate. We're so close, chat. We're in the 90s. More people? Oh, you bring gasoline. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. The more the merrier. Oh man, are we gonna hit 300 today? That'd be amazing. Hot chocolate made with a steam wand always hits different. Yeah, as opposed to, man. The best slash, slash worst hot chocolate is the one you get from like a one button machine at a ski hill. And it comes out like hotter than the temperature of the sun. And there's no way any human can consume it without burning basically <laughs> like, you take the lid off and everyone's goggles fog up because it's just... Like, how is this still a liquid? This doesn't make sense. Uh, uh. 
That's my kind of hot chocolate. <clears throat> Much like the best potato wedges come from the country gas station near a fishing lake. Sounds like you've got a story. Everything tastes better after skiing? That's probably just because you're tired from all the exercise. They could feed you literal garbage. Or nuclear waste like we're selling our neighbors. He'd be like, oh man, I just burnt like 7,000 calories. This is the greatest meal of my life. <laughs> right? Alright, I probably need a couple more medical clinics here. Whilst we wait. Probably can't afford another medical hospital. Wait, can I fit this here? Hold on, what's... Oh, my stupid movie theater. Chat! The numbers! We're doing it! Oh, I'm, I'm actually really stoked on this. Yeah, see? Like, why don't you... We have so much metal and so much screw, and yet this person is not working. Hold on. We're so close. What do you mean it's halted? Organized Hasn't been moving for a bit. Are usually rare. I'm frustrated. Most groups are not How much time did we waste? Societies, but amongst each other, keeping the numbers low. But lately, there's been a notable shift as more and more devastating attacks have been taking place around the wasteland. The first sign of these happened a while back, when one of the societies was under siege by a large bandit force. Since then, other societies have only had occasional encounters with them, but the enemy has avoided direct conflict, or did, until now. Yeah, I wish there was a pop-up that told you if progress was halting. Now, a word comes to the colony that this old enemy has reappeared in force and is attacking every society they can find. This is bad, as the happy after-party bunker is not yet complete and outposts are threatened. The message is an invitation to join a meeting to discuss this matter. It's a trap. All right, well, let's go join the, let's go join the meeting. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? Ah, should I send... All right, this is obviously a trap. Should I send four fighters to there, knowing that as soon as this is done, bandits are going to go everywhere, or just one fighter there and leave the other three at the base and get ready to rapidly deploy them everywhere else? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, Jiroti. Hold on, let's slow things down here. Jiroti, this is your, or Joe Rote. Two and two. I, you know what? I like two and two. We have bandits at the gate. Yes. Wait, bandits at the gate. Chat, hold on, hold on. Yes. I need to see if this works. Your orders. All right, I have two people there. Uh, never mind. One sec. One sec. Will you fight? All right. Do they do anything? No, they just stand there and watch. What am I paying you for? Build a bunch of guard towers. Okay, love it, love it. All right, give me one second here. For absolutely no reason, I've been advised to build a bunch of guard towers. Gotcha. I've got 60 unemployed people. Uh, that'll do. Nah, a couple more. Alright, Jorky. Your command. So 
send a world map as well. So we want to send both of these people up here. What do we have here? How may I help? Going. That's plenty. Thank you. You know what, I'm actually going to turn this scout into another engineer, because I need more... Not engineer, pardon me. Into another settler, because I feel like I just need more, huh? like, tools. So I think there was an unclaimed tool one. Uh, no, I'm already grabbing those. Maybe they're all taken and I can't. I wasn't really basing things on anything else when I was clicking on them. Yeah, here. I probably can't... No, I'm already grabbing those. Okay. That's science. Uh-huh. Rad jacket. Okay. Tool, but it's a medical thing. That's too bad. What isn't claimed? Literal, actual, nothing. Fun boxes? No. Fun boxes? No. Crap, did I make this and I can't use it? Signs point to maybe. Boo! Chat! I thought I was so smart. There's clothing along the north? Oh, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Right away. That's the east, but that means there's another one along the north too. All right, uh, give me a quick second, friends. I'm going to take a short bio break here. I have to pee. I'll be right back.
Hello, my friends. Ooh, 50 chair biddies. Thank you, Pharmacist Judge. Oh. What happened to Surge? Am I okay? I was peeing. And then I had a bunch of Slack messages I had to check. And now everything is right in the world. Oh, thank God. What's the joke? Is that object permanence? If I'm not on the screen, I stopped existing. My advice is to take a static photo of me. And you can just look at it if you're worried I'm not around. Where is Surge gone? Oh, wait. It's okay. I have this photo. Uh, should I make another library? 50 entertainment. No, it's diminishing returns, right? Nothing else will ever make my people happy. Oh, right. We're trying to finish the whole tech tree here. I take gun now. And then we're done. Amazing. Let's research tarps after. Some type of surge effigy? Yeah. Is that what Ben did for Adam? Is that where that weird Adam doll came from? I didn't know what the origin of that was. Oh, let's make another library. Why not? Does, if it fits right there, I'm making another library. It doesn't fit. It will if I destroy some stuff, though. Where was I? Ah, yes. We're putting a library in here. Good. <laughs> Wait, why did that not click? Hello? Oh, uh, these little flowers are in the way. Get out of here, little flowers. All right. Seventh, <laughs> seventh attempt. Here we go. Bam, we got there. And what are you? Another shrine? Yeah, let's make this symmetrical. I like symmetry. All right, beautiful. Okay. Our industrial radiator's doing a good job of keeping everyone warm there. Mean looking people are at the gate. Oh no, bullies! Armored trucks. We will not get threatened. Oh right, never mind. When they threaten us, they, they just win even when they threaten us. Oh, makes me sad. Oh, right. 15 constructions are finished. Amazing. All right. So time to go and put guards into all of our gates here. All right. Okay. We've got plenty of guns to go around, so everything should be okay here when we do this. Wait, the reward for making people happy is more children, which we don't want? Oh, man. It's, like, actively bad to try and make people happy, is what I'm hearing. Oh, I don't have any guard towers in this area. I should make a couple of people to guard the cemetery. Wait, I had one here already? Okay, that's asymmetrical now. Let's get rid of that. Surge, spoilers, you make me happy? That's very, very kind. No meme. You just say sweet things, Hosk. Whoa, whoa, Sweetest thing. But isn't this pretty? Like, I could probably put something else in the center. There's a new quest available. The behemoth. I don't have time Survivor. for this. Quest failed. I don't want to do quests. I have a quest. It's the quest to save humanity. It's the noblest quest. Tree decoration successful. That's awesome, friend. Joe and I don't have a tree. We're not much for, uh, Big decorations for the holidays. All right, let's uh, let's turn our ridiculous food surplus into pills. Oh, have my garbage. Still funny. Why do I have corn? Where did that come from? 
All right, I've got 1,600 carrots. That feels like a little too much. Okay, next up, we've got you. Pills. For carrots. Not much for holidays in general. Yeah, Joe and I don't really celebrate stuff. Every day is a celebration. Oh, I should be buying tools, I'm realizing. I have cow. Okay. Uh, buy medicine. Have some. Have some... Gun. A little bit of gun is a treat. Oh, whatever. I'll buy some more components just in case. There. Alright, how are we doing on this world map? We getting closer? There's the quest. And where are my people at? Alright, three turns? Got it. You like holidays mostly just for paychecks that work for all of them? Yeah, I guess if you're getting that. I don't really get... Uh, I mean, it's weird. I don't get, like, holiday hours as a streamer. But then again, like, communities love to celebrate certain dates, so... There's weird other different holidays. All right. Research here. Queue down here. And then I think we've almost maxed out the whole tech tree. How are we doing on our garbage goal? How goes our goal to clean the entire colony area? It's ambitious, but we're getting there. Five people are unhappy and threatening to leave. Nah, I don't believe you for a second. That'll never happen. Okay, well, we hired like 40 people to work as guards. So hopefully, hopefully that's enough to keep us safe. Because that's a lot of guards. That's a lot of guards, chat. A lot of blue shields walking around right now. Oh, right. I need... Yeah, tools are fine. Is there a plan for Boxing Day? Uh, I... Yeah. No announcements for Lure stuff will come from my stream. You gotta check the Lure channel for that. My apologies. But that is my uh, no-slip-up policy. I can't slip up if I say nothing. We've made a new discovery. Have we? The Tom Holland approach. Oh, I'm in good company, apparently. Yeah, best place for lure announcements is the Twitter or the schedule. Uh, the There's, I think, there's like the Twitch schedule is a good one, too. So check all those places. James works super hard to try and communicate stuff as much as possible. Good guy, James. Did anyone see the Graham Norton interview where he had Henry Cavill and Tom Nolan at the same time? No. Interesting. Wait, did Benedict Cumberbatch just like shush Tom Holland in an interview when he let something slip? That'd be very funny. So, I think I've told this story before, but the worst, god, the worst slip I ever had, and this is why I'm super careful now, is I walked into the moon base, I like, looked James dead in the eye, and you, you have to picture this, picture this like it's a film, right? So you're like super zoomed in, and I turn the corner, and it zooms in on James's face, and I'm like, hey dude, so that Mustang you really wanted to get for Road Quest isn't road worthy. I love the idea, but I don't think it's going to work. We're going to have to figure out some other things. Like, your your second and third options are going to be fine. I don't know. What do you think? And then the camera zooms out, and Ben is sitting, like, right beside him. And Ben's like, dude, I'm right here, and I'm not supposed to know this. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. So, this is why I try not to say too much, because I have slipped. I have slipped before. Actually, yep. let's go over here first. Start collecting me more shirts, please. Okay. All right, quest time. 
Tom Holland is not allowed to do I'm interview solos now. because he has a hard time keeping secrets. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing a good job keeping secrets now. Maybe I'm not Tom Holland. Now you're sad knowing there could have been a Mustang. <laughs> All right, I click. I click on the plot. Found something. The atmosphere is definitely tense. Most societies around these parts have decided to attend, if for no other reason than to keep an eye on each other. It seems that the new faction is attacking everyone. One of the societies even tried to track down their base of operation, but found something else. The information they acquired came at a great cost to their scouts. Oh, what's the what's the Star Wars joke? There's like that one throwaway joke on how they got all the information on the Death Star. Someone will get there. Yes, many Bothan spies. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> What they found was that the enemy base is a math... Oh no! Old nuclear power! All of the garbage we're selling trap? Chat? It's a trap! All of my radiation that we've been selling. They're weaponizing it. The information creates an immediate commotion in the group. The enemy might be making a dirty bomb. They're not interested in looting or pillaging. They must eradicate us. It will be scorched earth. Every other society has suffered so many losses. There is one any only one option. We must defeat the nuclear plant. All right. All right, where's the nuclear plant? It's here? Okay. Negative. All right. Okay. Let's go, my fighters. Yes? Let's go, my fighters. Uh-huh. Avengers Sorry. assemble. The most ambitious crossover ever seen in the wasteland. Okay. Look at them. Ooh, unknown enemies. Why is this paused? <laughs> ah, well, let's do it. All right, what other goals do we have for our base here? Looks like we're crushing it, right? We got good food. We got good housing. We got room for another 59. Hopefully we never need it. Nice. Oh, wait, sorry. I have three more houses to upgrade here. Four more houses to upgrade here. This is why we wait for our people to walk there, right? And with that, that should be all of the big, big houses. Oh, pollution has been depleted. All right, you still got pollution to work on, right? Let's move over here. Keep you busy. Could I upgrade these to be self-heated? They all need power. Major happiness bonus. Colony under attack. Wait, what? Hold on, time out. All right, Joe Salam is here to help. Job Salam. Yep. Go, help my colonists. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I want to find another tool place somewhere on the map, but uh, maybe that has to wait until later. I don't know. Apparently we're making enough tools. No, we're not. Wow. Completely out of tools? Who has tools I can buy? Once again, the answer is commerce. Oh, we have a pandemic. Yikes. Pandemics come in waves, infecting colonists. Untreated colonists will die. De dehydrates the body, massively increasing water consumption. Huh. All right, I'm sitting on 297 antibiotics. Don't like this. Yeah, a little, little real right now, eh? So it looks like I need to run... Wait, I can do it here. I want a new water harvesting area. So let's grab a large transformer, a robot in disguise even. 
And I want to start making some... Ooh, bore wells. 40 water. Yeah, there we go. Too close to another building of the same type. What is your major problem? Is it this well? Uh, let's keep the jokes tasteful, please, my friends. Remember that... Uh, there are survivors at the gate. What is happening here? Too close to another building of the same type. What is what what is the problem? High efficiency. 33. Okay. 37. Okay. 40. Okay. Do do do. is not a great UI. Where is the... That's there. Survivors at the gates. Uh, you probably don't want to come in during the pandemic, but you... Oh, they have medicine. I mean, they got medicine, chat. Oh, is everyone ready to rumble? Hold on. Uh, first order of business. Let's get up here and let's see if there's any more insects to hunt. Uh, survey says yes. More beetles. Second of all, it looks like two people are in position. We need to wait a little bit longer. Forty colonists infected. I mean, we have two hospitals and three medical clinics. Crap. Three fully staffed medical clinics. <laughs> I hope that's enough, right? We got lots of medicine. Let's see what happens. Fifty colonists are infected. The number is going down. That makes me pretty happy. I wonder when this event happens if it picks a percentage of your population to see what happens. Hey, what's up, Orso? Thanks for stopping by. Wait, the number keeps going back up. Uh, me toilets? Oh, cool. That's bad. Oh, I have minus 140 water right now. Fascinating. Well, that seems bad. What'd you do that for? Sweetest thing. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. Alright, no death so far. Aha! But, once our last fighter, once Jorky's in position, then the game truly begins. Our only death so far has been at old of old age. Alright, how far is Jorky out? Ready. Jorky? Jorky can make it. Alright, next turn we, we strike. Actually, you know what? Let's start striking now. Jorky can join next turn. All right. Engaging hostile. Ready. Locked and loaded. Let's get uh, Job Salam out there too. Your orders. You can help with your Oh, actually that's like kind of legit damage. 20 damage on the scout? Uh-huh. Engaging hostile. All right, our water is back in the positive. Wait, oh, I did it. Hey, we survived, everybody. That's great news. I need to sell some food. Uh, did we use all our antibiotics? Well, here we go. Let's buy some antibiotics and we're only going to buy food with it. Never mind, I'm going to sell some pollution. Still funny. All right, jerky, get out of here. Carrots, get out of here. Oh, that's a lot of money. Fish, get out of here. 
Anybody else have antibiotics for sale? You've got rad pills. You know what? Those always come in handy. All right, let's trade. I'll buy all your chickens too. I don't have any of those, but I'll put them in a box just in case they come in handy. We've now reached the stage of the game. This happens in a lot of these sorts of games, right? Where you have more money than you know what to do with. You're like, I don't know. I guess I'll buy a house in every city or whatever, right? Carrots, all right. Uh, soy, sure, let's sell some soybeans too. There. There. That's right, pharmacist judge. More life-saving medicine for all the people in our city. Why is this not getting power? This says it's on the... Oh my god. Really? Really? Anyone else notice a particular issue with the placement of my building versus where the, the power overlaps? There we go. It's going to be in there. There's no longer going to be a dead spot, but that's really funny. Someone's at the gate. Oh, TQ's back. Barely functional car is parked by the gate. And oh, Clothing for rad pills? There you go. Thank you, TQ. Oh my god. Your command. What is this fight? So Jorky missed a turn and a lot of people took a lot of damage, but hopefully we win here. Especially if uh, Job Salam can get in there in time. Locked and loaded. So this is automated. Yes, good. All right, got a good amount of excess for water and energy now. Well, we will. We will shortly. There. There. No, they're getting so low. The drills are the nicest water source. You can just build them next to each other forever. Wait, really? I, I thought I had to space them out. Maybe I misunderstood something there. Which is why I made this like big ugly, ugly circle there. Clearly I misunderstood the UI. Construction complete of a large transformer. All right. From the shadows. I refuse. Quest failed. The other electric one. You mean the bore well? Bore wells dig deep holes down into the earth, providing a stable source for water. They're not limited by soil restrictions and can be placed on any soil. Oh, cool. All right. My specialists are in danger. You know what? This is what you were trained for. I believe that with all of your powers combined. Yeah, I was going to say we could do it. No one would get hurt. Hey, they all clapped. We won the battle. The bandits are finally defeated. Although no one believes this was the last of them. The high-grade equipment, tactics they used, and sheer manpower proves that this faction is something new and dangerous. A fear turns to relief, and people start to realize what just happened and what they avoided. Everything they have built was threatened. The motives of this group are still a sheer mystery, and there are no prisoners to interrogate. But now, it is time to celebrate and... Oh no! There is an attack back at the colony! A large enemy force is attacking! And they're somehow already inside the gates?! Why do we have a gate if they can just be inside? Time out. Time out. Anyways, continue building the uh, happy after party bunker. All right. Well, everybody start rushing back, please. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Treyon, for the tip. Okay. That's why we surrounded our base with about 7,000 towers. Consider it done. Reporting in. Check. We've reached a milestone. Auga. Ooh, ooh. 
Did somebody die? Alright, where are my guards? There we go. Guards! Hello? I mean, I should have pretty good guns here, right? This attack sure is garbage. Yeah, like... The fact that we have a gate and they just ignore it and they spawn inside of your base is kind of not great. But whatever. Like, we had the hot tip from chat. We had the hot tip from Treon specifically. Can we give Treon a brownie point, by the way? Can you imagine if we weren't prepared for this? Oh no, Rosa was killed by their injuries. Colonist killed. Wait, is that somebody in our house? Or is this person? Go, guards! I uh, Y'all just ran right by each other. Hello? Pardon? Yeah, you know what? You get him. Angela, you punch that dude with a gun in combat armor while my guards are somewhere else. Alright, what's happening over here? Oh, another body died. Alright. We got this. We got this. Get him, Angela. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Woo. All right. One more enemy somewhere. There they are. Doomsday Bandit Militia. All right. All right. Our guards are on the scene. Oh my god, they're stacked on top of each other. The bandits have never seen this type of uh, urban density before. And as such, their pathing is a little confused. <laughs> we win! A yeah, trade convoy just arrived too. Oh man, my people were hiding inside while they starved? Okay, cool. Cool. What's our milestone here? Hold on. New dawn. Oh, project is finished. Wait a second. Wait a wait a second. Are these numbers going up? All right. Four percent every twenty-four hours. Two days until this one is done. All right. We have two days, and then we're done. So, oh my god, very excited. Wait, more, more tech, again. more tech. I must finish the tech tree. All right, hold on. Food? Done. Resources? Done. Infrastructure? Done. Community, we're getting blood sports. Oh, right, this is the last one. We, we, we have one building we haven't made yet to make our people happy. That's the last, okay, that's the last tech. That's the last tech. Hey, there's survivors at the gate. Come on in. A ragged bunch hey, they have tools. Oh, heck yeah. Get in here. All right. Uh, where's... Is there a place where the Valley of the Leaf overlaps with a resource that I want to collect. <laughs> Asking for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. I wish, God, this map needs a search function. I need tools. I mean, I don't need tools. The game is basically done, but I want tools. Ah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep going. Or a zoom. Yeah. There we go. Tools. I got tools. <laughs> and I'll buy them with this garbage. Ah, uh, still funny. You know, after all the hours we've played this game, 
That's still funny. Oh, there's better tools. All right, we'll grab all those in a second. Let's grab this. Good. Uh, you can have, uh, I don't know, have a couple of guns. Is Jorko still in the wild? Everybody should be on their way home. That's too much meat. Too much meat. I apologize. There. Oh, antibiotics. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. It's happening, chat. Number go up. The after party bunker phase three is almost done. I'm proud of our little power area here. It's really funny. We only ever had the one lightning storm, but it's about done. So we've got like our industrial area here with all the power and the batteries and like our factories and stuff, you know, drilling the stuff right out of the ground. That's all super cool. We've got our housing block here. We've got, like, our downtown core area of restaurants, like, oops, I zoomed out because I mouse wheeled a little too far, like our farm area. All, you know, things, all things considered, I think we have a pretty cute little city. Let's start demolishing some of these, by the way. I don't think I'm going to need quite this many for the rest of the game. Just get a couple extra people to help out with things. Oh, right. And then what we'll do is we'll put a third person in all the guard houses we decided to keep. There we go. And that way people are still working. There's just fewer. Wait. More efficient? Is that how that works? Slightly fewer, but higher... Higher operating... Sure. Buildings. Love it. You'll love to see it. All right. What's another goal that we want to hit before we're done? Oh, I wanted to get rid of all the garbage, and I don't know if we're going to get there. It's really close. It was really close, but I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. <gasps> Look! Chat! Number go up! Jorky, are you not on your way home? You're just a little slower, right? All right, that's fine. What's up? All right. I like the two shorter houses. I don't know who lives in there, but I appreciate them. Will Jorky make it home? Jorky's home now. Everyone's home. We got little home icons here, right? Let's invite a new colonist here. Ivy? Don't you mean Jovi? Yes. No relation to Bon? Your orders? Wait! The memory of the attack on the colony doesn't fade, and many are nervous of the attackers returning. The enemy suffered heavy casualties, and so far they have opted to lay low. But there's no telling whether they'll eventually return. The super fun after party bunker is now complete! It is a significant achievement for the people who only some time ago were living in tents and scavenging scraps of food. Maybe that was the reason for everything. The enemy faction was afraid that there was a new power rising in the wasteland. Someone capable of challenging them. And they were right. Oh. Activate the bunker to permanently remove all catastrophes except for winter. I just need you to appreciate for a second that there's a beagle walking outside and it is living its best life just absolutely howling. 
I click. Quest complete. Yeah, fireworks! Oh, Opening crap. The doors into the doomsday bunker is a symbol for a new beginning. Reaching this goal demanded many sacrifices. Hey, what's up, ropes? But the hope for something better pushed everyone forward, even during the darkest times. Now it is finally done, and a deafening cheer echoes. Yay! Everybody clap. everybody clap! Everybody clap! Choked up from the thought of feeling safe and protected from the hostile world. This is just a single step towards a better future, but its impact reaches even the outskirts of the wasteland. For once, tomorrow looks bright. Congratulations! You have completed the main quest line and your colony is now safe from most catastrophes. You may now continue building your colony or return back to the main menu. Do you wish to continue? We did it! We beat the game! That was fun. Bit of a grind at the end, but honestly, like, that's neat. A lot of games in this genre don't necessarily have, like, a clean endpoint, and I think that's fine. We did it! One more turn. Well, the only goal we'd have is to remove all of the rads, and you're like, ah, whatever. So it goes. That's fun! All right. I will definitely come back to this game when they add more DLC. I really like this game. It's... Got some problems, but whatever. What game doesn't? I'm really happy with this game. This was great. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you for the help. Also, huge shout out to Trayon for that. Uh, God, can you imagine if we didn't know about that attack at the end? And we just we just got like rolled there? That'd be so bad. Yeah, a couple people just got here at the end. Ropes got here. Infinity just got here. It happens. But uh, no, this was good. This was good. This was fun. So yeah, um, let me let me wrap this up for the YouTube winky face. And then, I don't know, let's just chill and chat for a little bit. So thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate this. Huge thank you to Joe for all the hard work she does putting everything up like VOD-wise onto the YouTubes. You're beautiful. Goodbye.